Okay. Uh, hello, welcome back to Stars and or Time. Mm -hmm. Hang on a sec. Stream looks a little choppy, and I bet I know why. Okay, give me a sec. You're gonna um, you're gonna lose sure. the stream for two seconds. <gasps> Chat. That's better. <laughs> okay. Looking good. All right. Yeah, the frame rate was wrong, and I could immediately tell because I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Lenti's not here. They're picking up their cat from the vet. They should be here soon. Uh, there's a lot of game left, and I will say I did sit down and watch a playthrough of the rest of the game to see how I should handle streaming it because I have a very limited amount of time left to finish this game before I leave in February. Um, definitely going to be this session and one more. Possibly another one after that. Really? Too. It's long. Wow. Because um, I needed to know. Uh, and there's a lot. And also every website that's like, Here's how long this is. They're all wrong because I play games faster than most people and reading triples the length of a game anyway. So doing all that conversion math is rough. To, to clarify, reading out loud. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't want Chad to be like, oh, see, so you don't read. So I want to get ahead of that train. It doesn't matter if you say that. They won't listen anyway. It doesn't matter what you but, say. But <laughs> there might be three who go, oh, I understand. And then the chat god will look at them and be like, too smart, deleted. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gone thought. So I did go ahead and do the loop. Uh, last time we befriended all our friends as much as we can. We did all their secret quests. Uh, this is the end of the second floor, I believe. There is some different dialogue. I started transcribing all of it. <laughs> Because that would be faster, because you can't save right in... You can only save at the dots. Um, oh, sure. So I did actually write some of these down. So uh, some of my some of my favorite singular moments here. We might have already seen this, but I don't know if we did. Um, here's here's one. And I guess I'll be, I'll be Lenti's characters just for ease of access. Uh, these will be in the general. We're just going to read them. Right. So they, they uh, pick up an uh they pick up two separate items in whichever order in a room and this happens. Uh as the kids say, yoink. As the adults say, I'm going to take this. As <laughs> cowboys say, that's mine. The, <laughs> that's my <mine>. house is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, of note, when you go through the secret library, Odile notices both that Seifrin had knowledge of the carrot method book that gives Mirabelle her shield, and then she looks at the pile and says, Looks like someone checked out the paper-ass family tale. Looks at Seifrin. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> oh, she's on to your shit. There are, there are moments where every single party member is like, what the fuck? And they like look at you in a way where it's like, so you're doing time loop shit, aren't you? I, I see you. Oh, you're doing some time loop shit, huh? Throw yourself into a tear. Uh, here's, a, here's another one. This is not the full scene, but... Um, if you, there's a plate of croissants in a room we actually hadn't been to before. So, um. You liked croissants when we met, didn't you? I feel like one day you just did a 180 and decided you hated them. What happened? Did you eat a bad croissant somehow? Did it have a hair in it? Did someone beat you up using a croissant as a weapon? Or did someone eat your croissant? Was it Isabeau? No! I try very hard not to eat Steve's food, so I wouldn't. You don't answer. Oh crap, did I? No, just... And then there's a choice between it was burnt and I went with... It brings back bad memories. Oh, I'm Mirabelle. <laughs> <laughs> bad memories? Of what? You clench the silver coin in your pocket. You don't answer. Don't worry, friend. I'll make the best croissant ever. And you won't have to think about the bad memories anymore because the croissant is going to be too good. Aww. 
Oh, Bonnie, that's a lovely idea. Isn't Bonnie nice, Seafrin? You smile and nod. Uh, jump then, into your... if you find the carving uh, a wood carving room, which gives you the uh, the ability to upgrade your key knife into a knife key. Uh, oh. This one's a bit longer. And I've got some stage directions in there because sometimes the character portraits kind of matter. Hmm. Uh, they are just trying. Fucking hell. What Where are we starting? There we oh, go. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh. Is stream not going? Uh, I think people are just freaking out because the game looks like it's frozen it's, and people we're think just, that we're just okay. Oh my god. Um, chat. We are reading scenes which are not currently happening on screen. It's it's okay, man. You guys are like goldfish sometimes. I'm sorry. The, we we're reading the scenes that I I skipped because I played through an hour and a half of doing the house again because I didn't want to do that again on this loop. Because we have to do mm -hmm. a bunch more. Goodness gracious, people. Also, there's sparkles and effects on the screen. You can tell it's not frozen. Well, I think when you tab out, it freezes the... Uh, hey, the OBS, figure your shit out, man. <laughs> All right. Well, then it, it doesn't say it's frozen for me, but whatever. Okay. Well, it's now it's not frozen. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Whatever. Um... Some carving wood. You haven't tried carving wood in forever. Everyone mentioned you usually mumble when you sharpen your dagger or carve wood. Will you be able to sharpen the key knife if you remember how you usually do it? You pick up the carving wood, looking at it from all angles, trying to remember. <laughs> Please don't look bad. Please don't look bad. Please don't look bad. Uh, what? Oh, you don't remember? That's what you were saying. Last time you were carving something. Um, you were carving a little Odile, and Odile said that if it looked bad, she asked me to cover your dinner with potatoes. It's so weird that this universe seems to think potatoes suck and sound bad <laughs> and taste bad. <laughs> but... So you were mumbling, please don't look bad the whole time. You usually mumble things like this under your breath when you carve or sharpen your dagger or do something similar. Good read. <laughs> And then that, that's just a stage direction. You can go ahead. Please have symmetrical eyes. Please look at least a little bit like a wolf. Please don't stab me in the hand while I carve. Feels like you're, take <clears throat> Feels like you're talking to whatever you're making or to your tools. Did you never realize that you were doing it? Do you really do this? How embarrassing. It's cute, see, friend. And also, when you do mumble, whatever you're carving does look really nice. It's when you're not mumbling that your stuff looks awful. Huh. Well, sounds like you should try this sharpening thing again. By the way, I still have the little wood carving you made of me, Seafrin. You do? Of course. Why wouldn't I? It was so very cute. You know, I'm still so jealous Seaf made you a wood figurine. I could curse you and your entire family name. Then curse me, coward. I will one day, and then you'll be sorry! <laughs> Ooh, I'm so scared. Okay, and then again, for people just coming in, we're just reading some dialogue that I transcribed from this run. I skipped ahead. Um, mm -hmm. We're waiting for Vixen, so I'm trying to kill I'm some here. time. Hello. I'm here. Hello. Great. Um, okay. Uh, there's a difference this time on the... Uh, is this is this it? I don't know. Uh, well, I'll, just in case. I, I have a couple save states, but you only have some opportunities to save between new stuff. So here's another one. Uh, on the room where you're sitting and some of you, Jello not realizing the stream broke and bullying chat is annoying. Fuck you. <laughs> figure, your <laughs> no, figure your shit out. Figure your shit out. Do you notice the rest of chat saying it's not broken? Do you notice that? I'm looking at the live uptime on the stream. I'm watching it stream. Figure your shit out. I will ban the next person who asks, who says something like that. I'm pissed at that shit. Don't say shit that makes me go, oh no, is something wrong? So I have to stop looking at what we're doing so that I can pause stream again. I already banned them? Yeah, fucking die. They're a crater. 
<laughs> that guy got yamchered. <laughs> Makes me so angry. Don't do that. Okay. Then, uh, after, uh, everyone talks about what they should do with their bodies when they die on the, at the end of the second question mark floor, Bonnie has new dialogue. Which I have posted in the general chat for Lenti, who just popped in. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Yeah. Uh, want, just start from... It? Talking Start about. from talking about what to do with bodies if you die. Why are you even talking about what you'll do if we lose? Bonnie, were you listening? Yes! I am a master cook, so I can cook and listen at the same time. You guys don't need to talk about this, because me and Friend promised, you know? Friend promised he wouldn't get hurt protecting people anymore, and I promised I'd protect Friend. So if I protect Friend, I protect all of you, so... So if I'm here, no one will get hurt. That's a Bonnie promise. Bonnie looks at you and offers you a big smile. Bonnie? Hmm. Am I really getting reassured by a kid right now? <laughs> well, Bonbon bon is saying it, I believe it. You and Bonnie will protect us? I, I won't accept such a one-sided promise. If you both protect us, we'll protect you both too. We'll protect each other. Indeed we will. Don't worry, Bon Bon. Don't worry, Steve. We'll all fight. We'll all live. You nod, smiling. And then if you go to the bathroom door uh, before you finish the third floor, it's all just Steve. All right. You close the bathroom door. You like coming here because you know you'll be alone for a bit. But you almost feel like going outside right away, right now. Huh. Why? You feel weird. Even though you're stuck in this time loop, you don't know how to escape yet. You feel... happy? You feel happy! Why do you feel happy? Is it because you're helping everyone right now? Hearing them out, helping with their problems? You talked to each one of them, learned more about them as people, talked about things with them you've never talked about with anyone. It was embarrassing, a bit, but it made you feel so warm. It was nice, even though you're not friends, even though you're just allies. But that's how you become closer to people, right? By helping them out. So maybe right now, they like you better than in previous loops because you help them. And, and okay, this will sound silly, but maybe that's all you need to break the loop? That's stupid. You're stupid, don't, don't even think about it or it won't come true. You smack the side of your head, focusing on the pain. Stay focused. Stop thinking about best case scenarios. Stop thinking about your allies. Stop thinking about how they don't see you as a friend or anything. Stop thinking, stop it, stop it. You breathe slowly in and out and think about nothing. You exit the bathroom. Okay, and then this is a little back in time, but I actually had a save point here. There was some new dialogue. I think this is the one where it's like, we, we won't die, but they all have new dialogue. So now this is back on the actual stream. Oh, God, cool. Do you see me? I'm gonna touch you now. Bonnie slowly raises their hand and slowly moves it towards your hand and slowly pats your hand. Good kid, good kid. You didn't even jump that time. Good job. You did such a good job. <laughs> you laugh. Friend! Bonnie gives you a thumbs up. You give a thumbs up back. Looks at you in time traveler suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> Odile is looking at you. <sighs> Never mind. Leave me alone. I'm reading. They are friends. Leave me be, Seafrin. Old people need their alone time. You let her be. Psst, Seaf! Thank you for talking to Bon Bon yesterday. Huh? Why? Why? Well, because they managed to look you in the eye earlier, that's why. Didn't think it was going to happen anytime soon, after the whole incident, I guess. Ah, uh, about my eye, you mean? Well, yeah. I always felt like you didn't really care about what happened, but... Sorry, uh, thank you for the $50 super chat. 
Just wanted Whoa. to say thanks for putting this game on my radar. Played it all the way through, and it's one of the best games I've ever played. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Have joy Thank in your playthrough. You. Oh, mm -hmm. lovely. Yeah, no, it is a... It's just fucking 10 out of 10. It <laughs> Aloha. Thanks for the super fucking fanning the dollars. In its hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he's earned it. Absolutely. Bon Bon's little, you know? Even if they felt like you didn't blame them for it, it's still a lot of emotions for a kid to handle. But, knowing you, you probably thought Bon Bon started hating you for no reason, yeah? Uh. <laughs> Figured. I guess I should have talked to you about it, but it didn't feel like my place. So, that's why I'm glad you two talked yesterday. Good job, Seif. Good job. Here, have a mad med medaline. You feel patronized. Hmm. You take the Madeline. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you, you actually did get it right, hilariously. See, friend. You tilt your head. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say your name. Mira. See, friend. Mira. <laughs> See. No. <laughs> Seif is my Seifra nickname, Mira. You have to pick another one. I'm sorry. I won't budge on that. Gems alive, Isabo. I, uh, I mean... What? But, but you and Seifra share, Mira. It's not fair. That's true. All right, in the spirit of fairness, we can get joint custody of Seif then. You know, I think I'll pick another name for Seafren after all. <laughs> but Isabo picked Seaf and Bonnie picked Frin. I I have no letters left. <laughs> what about Ifri? <laughs> Ifri. Ah, uh, Seaf want another medallin? For doing such a good job? Yes they do, yes they do. Blow a raspberry at him. He laughs. Uh, when I read through that the first time, I out loud went, I want them to make out. <laughs> <laughs> they they staunchly refuse. <laughs> I really like the saying, gems alive. It actually feels like it, 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 it feels like it should. It's so rare for expletives or stuff that's the equivalent of, you know, like Christ alive or oh my God. Yeah. It's rare to find ones which don't feel, like, super fucking forced, but that one actually kind of feels good. Sharpening stone, apply to key knife. Take the key knife and the sharpening stone, and mumble repeatedly the first thing that comes to mind. Please be sharp, please be sharp, please be sharp. Please be sharp. Please be sharp. Please be sharp! It's blunt. <laughs> well, it's sharp now. Woohoo! You got the knife key! Put the knife key in your pocket to equip later. Woohoo, you did it! You are now the proud owner of a knife key. A knife that can cut anything, especially the king. Yes, you heard that correctly. When the knife key is equipped, you're ta- Here's some mechanical shit. Don't even worry about it, Stardust. You don't need to read this. Jello already read it. You can trust Jello if you think the stream's down your wrong. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, fucker. And then the scene that immediately follows this boss fight felt too important to skip, so I just decided to start here. Oh. All right. Sleepy time, sea friend. Yeah, we, uh... Sleepy time junction. <laughs> so I do have to fight this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Oh, also of note, the, uh, that first cutscene, oh jeez, the first cutscene where, um, you're doing your first break and Odile and Issa have that, like, gag where it's like, oh, please, we're not companions, we're acquaintances or whatever. Uh, that was a little bit different this time as well. And mm. I think, like, I, I the bit was different. I actually skipped through most of it, so I didn't even have time to write it down before I noticed it was different. I was like, well, shit. Dang. Fuck. Yeah, apparently there was some extra dialogue, like, in that hallway that people sent us down, but it was only in Act 2. 
There's all kinds of fucking... Yeah, there's, there's dialogue mods. everywhere. We can't reasonably read through all of it. it so, chat, if we missed anything, which we did, you should buy this game and play <laughs> it for yourself and get all of the dialogue that we missed. Wow. Buy the game. <laughs> also, yeah, for real. Seriously. It's also, pretty dang uh, cheap, actually. Have we actually made the bomb? Uh, no, I have the equipment to make it. Uh, that's after this fight. Right, right. Do, 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 do. Oh, your cursor's on screen, Jello. Watcha. Hate the cursor being visible. Jello kills me. <laughs> I just hate you! <laughs> Die. <laughs> Get yamchered like that other guy. <laughs> Well, now that I have a second, I'm gonna go actually get water. Okay, be back. Whoa! Savvy, do you have anything to report? <laughs> okay, uh, I was gonna wait for like when, I, when we did the bit naturally again or something. But yes, you'll be pleased to know, chat, that Odile with the Jordans is complete and available to be looked at. Go look at it. <laughs> Go look at it and retweet it and things so I can have numbers. <laughs> Where is it available or is it a secret? Oh, you fuck it. It's at, it, it's on my other not it's on my other Twitter account which is not savvy for work or nsavvy fw. Okay. Also on a also on a web, on that one website where you might find stuff like that in the first place. The yeah. one. To, clar to clarify for people, it is not safe for work. That should be made abundantly clear. Yes, this is not safe for work in case my name not savvy for work did not give it away. That's why I jumped in front. I was like yes. I'm not linking it. Good job, Immediately, Alana, like ten pings on my Twitter. <laughs> doing, 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 doing. The sparkles <laughs> on the Jordans were my idea. <laughs> yeah, I posted the sparkle version too. Oh, Stardust. They're so detailed. Yeah, straight up spent so much time on those motherfuckers. You know what to do, chat. <laughs> hey, great. Hey, Grave Antress. Thank you for saying Savvy works fast. I don't fucking work fast. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, this upcoming dialogue is different as well. Oh. Okay. Make the Jordans your banner. I think I might actually. <laughs> Someone this far inside the house. Who? That's. That's my roommate, Claude. Oh, oh Mira. That's my brother, Clint. <laughs> uh. No, it's okay. I I figured it'd be the case. If she was in the house, she'd be as close to the head housemaiden as she could get. But you couldn't get to her in time, could you, Claude? Mm. Mirabelle. Are you okay to continue on? Yes. Like I said, I was prepared for it. And we still have a king's butt to kick, so we can't save everyone. Oh, nope. <laughs> so we can't save everyone, can we? I mean, some people just gotta die. So we can't save everyone. <laughs> Indeed we do. Let's go ahead and kick that crab and king's butt. He will know what hit him. <laughs> yeah, so Mirabelle doesn't have a breakdown that time. Yay. Oh. Secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. Whoa. Whoa. If you're having trouble finding the account, try just N Savvy FW as well. You look at the, the short tag. gizmo gadget. You have everything you need. You give them all to Isabo. All right. Bomb time. Isabo made a bomb. You, uh, 
keep the bomb in your pockets. Wouldn't want Bonnie to carry it. <laughs> this will be fun. Bomb time! <laughs> You got memory of bomb. That's a fucking pizza game dialogue right there. <laughs> I always remember this. In, oh, guys. <laughs> so nice. In Savvy FW, like I am, it's like, what's that one quote where it's like, you think it's easy to look after like preschoolers when you'd be like, <laughs> careful if you're using scissors, you might like, oh, you wouldn't want to cut off your finger. And they'll be like, can I cut off a thumb? Thumbs aren't fingers. And it's like, no, I had to specify every <laughs> finger. Holy shit. I'm at work, but here we go. No, 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 don't open the, don't open the Twitter. Don't open the trap! Hank! <laughs> Hank! <laughs> Another Let's safe rest room. a bit, shall we? This might be our last chance to breathe. You all quietly look Mirabelle's way, trying to make sure she's all right. Will this be different somehow? Hey, Mira! Everything good? Oh, um, yes. I got a little fired up fighting that big sadness earlier. But I feel better now. I... <laughs> I'm doing breathing exercises to stay calm. Ah, uh, yes, the fabled Seafren breathing exercises. Told you he wasn't doing it for no reason. It had to help somehow. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Seafren. I'm, and, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> and thank you for yesterday, too. I don't think I'd be this calm if we hadn't talked. Huh? Ah, when you two spent time together. Yes, we oh. had a good talk. You <laughs> helped me realize some things. Oh, I'm glad. Nothing like a good talk between friends to feel better. And it seems you were hard at work yesterday. Uh, good read. And it seems you were hard at work yesterday, weren't you, Seafren? Helping me out along with Bonnie and Madame Odile. And me! <laughs> I suppose that's what friends are for, isn't it? To help with important things. Friends? Are you all friends? You traveled together, ate together, laughed together, so you thought it made you friends, but Odile says the same thing every time, doesn't she? Are we friends? Huh? Um, yes? But you said it once, didn't you, Odile? Huh? I... You remember. Every time you stop for a snack break on floor one, she says, she says, you said we weren't friends. You said we were allies, colleagues at best. Hmm? Did I? Odile, oh how could you? I don't remember her saying that, but sadly, this does sound like something Odile would say. But she says it every time, every blinding time. Wait, did she even say it this loop? When you stopped for a snack on the second floor, it, it was all different, so maybe it was different then too. Allies? I don't... Well, that does sound some like something I'd say, yes. I don't know if I consider you all friends, per se. The five of us are just very different people, with different goals and thoughts. Our age different makes it, difference makes it difficult for me to see you as friends. After all, why would an old lady be friends with a preteen? Oh. It's just strange. So no. To me, we aren't friends. The mere thought is absurd to me. Way to bring down the morale, madame. I'm not done. Ah. I don't think we're friends, but... But I would do anything to protect all of you. Horrible things, to be honest. As long as I could be sure you were all safe. I need to let you all know, I've been in a time loop for some time now. <laughs> <laughs> And the worst part is it happens whenever, like, on, beyond my control, it just restarts. I <laughs> found no pattern whatsoever. <laughs> Though some, it does happen when Seafren's about to touch those weird bobs, blobs of water. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you'd all do the same for me. For anyone in our little group. So... So friends doesn't fit to me, but... But we're family, right? Huh? Oh, 
Yeah! We're family! Like me and Neil! We stay together. We eat together. We say good morning and good night. Family. I have a difficult relationship with that word, but yes, family fits better, I think. Family! What a lovely word to describe our relationship to each other. I already thought of us like that, but it's kind of awkward to say it aloud, isn't it? It is a little bit. But we don't know what tomorrow or even the next few hours have in store. So while we are still together on this journey, we may as well say it. Say the unsaid. Especially since Seifrin over here seemed to think I didn't care about him. You... don't know how to react. All this time... You were trying to keep in mind what she said. That you were just allies to each other. But... Odile reaches over and ruffles your hair. Don't think so hard, Seifrin. Quite honestly, it doesn't seem to work out very well for you. <laughs> so mean, madame. <laughs> Seifrin's hat is all lopsided now. You look funny like this, friend. You readjust your hat and hide your face. <laughs> they all look at you, smiling. I'm bored. <laughs> Nap time! This is the same as before. I got snacks, baby! From yesterday's dinner. You don't have this. So that one, I don't remember what prompted you to say this, but like someone was like, why do you know so much about such and such? And someone else was like, oh, here's my reason I have this relationship with the series. And you just go, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> I feel like that's that's just Seifrin all the time. <laughs> He's me. Well, thank you for the 10 euro super chat. Oh. And this is this is actually a little different since we didn't get, he just took them the first time. Oh, Manga sure. fritters again! The novelty has faded a bit, but you're happy to find them again. You bite into one. Mm. Everyone's health has been restored. Yay! What? As you eat, you look at everyone. They're smiling. Freaks. Happy. <laughs> Fucking freaks. Sometimes one of them sees you looking at them and smiles at you. In this moment, you are loved. Bitch over there getting loved. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good Got feeling. Them. We'll definitely kick the king's butt. Kick the king's butt. Kick the king's butt. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's finish eating our snacks. We have a king's butt to kick. Yeah. You should probably sharpen up your Jay's deal. What? <laughs> what is it? Are you still hungry? Here, have some more Malanga fritters. Bonnie fills your cupped hands with fritters. Eat them, Kay. You look weird. <laughs> I think you're out of calories. Calories. I think you're out of calories. You eat the fritters. Tastes good. You know, you know, I made them for you. Bonnie's Thank so you, bon cute. Bon. <laughs> I made this for you. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Bonnie smiles brightly. Let me know if you're still hungry, okay? Can I point out? <laughs> would you perhaps I literally read that as would you perhaps accept a crumb? <laughs> <laughs> Is your hair that bad? You nod and get your hand out to receive the comb. Actually, would you perhaps allow me to brush your hair? You nod? You know, hold up a second. If no one's got my back, I know Aloha's got my back. He understood my reference. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Oh, that's completely fine. I just thought I'd ask since- Wait, you said yes to getting your hair brushed? Not again. Sorry, my- my-, my <laughs> Someone rang my doorbell. Uh, slightly farther, you hear someone gasp and curse. What is that about? Definitely, definitely is a bow. Fuck! <laughs> quick, quick, sit down in front of me. Do it, do it, do it. Hesitantly, you sit down and remove your hat. Mirabelle slowly and methodically starts combing your hair. Finally, I can repay the favor. You did my hair so wonderfully a few weeks ago. I'm so glad I get to brush your hair in return. I'm 
was surprised you had experience taking care of kinky hair, too. I... Look, your hair is split everywhere. You should take better care of it. Such a shame. It's such a nice, bright shade, too. Will you dye your hair again? I think you should let it grow out. Light hair suits you so well. What is you can kinky? barely hear what she's saying. What does kinky mean in this context? Kinky hair is the term for, like, like black hair, where it's, like, that mm. thicker texture. Mm. Yeah, where it's, like, curly, but, like, hyper curly, basically. Yeah, it's it's... You, it has a unique hair care regimen. Yeah. Getting your hair combed feels nice. You can feel your tension and Mirabelle's fade as she takes care of you. Mirabelle chatters on for a few minutes. Zooms into Steve's face. She hates me. This game, <laughs> someone someone do an animation that's literally that Meet the Robinsons scene. Yeah. Of, uh, <laughs> hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. What's going on? You want to hang out later? They all hated me. <laughs> All good. You're all ready for the king now. Yes, we do have to be beautiful to appear in front of him. <laughs> we do, madame. Gotta appear fierce. Of course. <laughs> Mirabelle smiles at you. We can do this. Hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. If we're, if we're changing our appearances, let me get my chase on. <laughs> God, please. Mirabelle smiles your way determined. So, Seif, see friend, buddy, do you want to talk? What about? Oh, okay, we're ignoring that whole thing. Sure, that's fine. We can do this <laughs> if you want. I, I want to say, Isabeau is my favorite character by, like, a huge margin. I have such a deep affection for any character who's, like... Like, yeah, I'm big and happy and energetic, and I like I come across as kind of a little a little stupid maybe, but they're the smartest character in the fucking party, and they notice everything. <laughs> and I've I've never like I love that archetype. Period. I've never seen that archetype where it's also like, yeah, I kind of hate that everyone thinks I'm a dumbass just because I'm like big and friendly, like a like a puppy and like a jock. It's like, yeah. oh, this is so interesting. We can also ignore how you're acting weird and how you stop smiling every time you think we're not looking. I'll give you one last chance, though. Would you like to sit down and have a talkie talk about what just happened? No. Nope. Okay. No problem. But when we're done and we've won and we eat dinner tonight, having beaten the king, before we go our separate ways, we will have the feelings talkie talk. Huh. <laughs> You snort. A sure thing, Isa. Oh, you said sure. We are gonna have this talk. Caught you. You're stuck now. You will be emotionally vulnerable. <laughs> but don't you have another talk with Isabeau planned? Only if we can have that first talk first. That first talk? What? Isabeau freezes in the middle of his sentence. <laughs> yes! That other talk! The one I said I would have with you last night in the clock tower after we went back. Yes. That talk. Yes. <clears throat> uh-huh. Two talks, Seif. <laughs> one talk each. Uh, we can get through this. Isabeau gives you a shaky thumbs up. Smirking, you give one back. I'm fucked. <clears throat> you two are so Sorry. stupid. <laughs> 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 Sorry for messing up your hair earlier. I know you don't usually like to be touched. Oh, also of note, in that one gardening room, every time you uh, scoot through and everyone gets out of your way, once it's been pointed out to see if that everyone is trying to avoid touching them, uh, he actually starts training and lets them brush against him a little more each loop. Aww. Hmm. But I think you need it this time, right? You stay silent and readjust your hat. Hmm. If I can help with anything, Seaforin, just let me know. If you're in some sort of loop of any sort of variety, yeah, yeah. temporal or otherwise. That is, you know, perhaps maybe fucking you up on several levels. You and I are very private people, but we need to learn to open up every once in a while, don't you think? We're family, after all. I don't think I can. Open up, you mean? Hmm. Of course not. As I've said, it's not a skill we're very good at. But know that I'll always be here if you decide to do so before we part ways. You don't say anything. 
your family mm -hmm. members' craft skills. Fuck off! Yeah, it changes, it changes <laughs> to your family. Is it on the menu as well? Nah. There's not really a place for it. Mm. Dude, now would be a funny time to touch a tear. <laughs> now would be a funny time for rock. Can I rock. just say, I'm glad that we've circled around uh, in terms of, like, gay as a word. We've circled around to it to being completely affectionate, so seeing someone yell, GAY, in chat is actually just hilarious. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo, King. Mm -hmm. Is this all stuff that we've seen still? Um, I don't know. I've watched too much of this game to know what happens when. Mm. <laughs> Do you remember? I remember you. Is that so? We shall fight. And we shall see which side the universe favors! Also, thank you for the $10 donation. Oh. Super chat. There's been loads of really lovely comments in the uh, super chats today. Yeah, thank you, folks. Oh, that's right, you can just like jump to this moment. That's so nice. Finally managed to beat him last time, but you still have so many questions. Why is he freezing Vogard in time? Does his power have anything to do with the time loops you're stuck in? If you ask him something, will he answer? Oh, fine. You can now ask the king questions by going into your craft menu. The things I let you do, Stardust, I swear. <laughs> What's your goal? <laughs> Flower for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goal? Save? Does it matter? It doesn't. Your reasons don't matter at all. But they might. Ooh, nice sprite. Yeah. Why do you want to freeze Vogard in time? See, friend? Oh, oh. can't you guess? Can't you tell? Oh, stars. I thought my intentions were clear, but no one seems to understand. We don't know. We don't understand you. Why would you want to make an entire country suffer and expect everyone to be okay with it? There must be a reason. Why would you freeze Vogard in time? And only Vogard, for that matter. That's true. No other country has been attacked. With a power like yours, you could freeze more than just Vogard. But you stopped at the borders. Other countries are safe. Why? Oh, oh because Vogard is perfect. Perfect? Such welcoming, creative people. Always willing to welcome travelers in. Even travelers with no name. No home to speak of. Such precious memories. It is perfect. I do not want it to change. I want it to stay exactly how it is. So it cannot ever be destroyed. That's so... What backwards thinking? I don't know what about Vogard made it perfect for you, but you cannot stop us from living! <laughs> Are you the one doing this to me? Oh. Oh, doing this? Stars, you don't want to explain it in front of everyone, but the king, he could be the one trapping you in time. The one imprisoning me here. Huh? Imprisoning you? Hmm. Whatever is happening to you, I am not the one responsible, Bright One. 
But that scent around you, could it be? Yeah, man, I just had Malanga fritters. They were fucking delicious. Malanga <laughs> fritters are perfect food. <laughs> Can I have some? Yeah, right, you want one? Yeah, don't freeze time. <laughs> Oh, Kaylee, what the fritter? <laughs> Unfreezes time, immediately glocks him in the head. <laughs> it does not matter. He can smell Loop's dogs. <laughs> Pie smell? Kind of does matter. He doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. So the king isn't the one responsible for the Loops. Isn't that weird? You're looping through time, he's freezing it. Aren't you using the same power? Power over time? How are you freezing people in time? Hmm. Huh. Psst, Steve, could have told you that one if you asked. It's Timecraft, buddy. You don't know what that is. Timecraft. The ability to craft time itself. I love how many times see like especially isabo this is another reason i really like isabo it's just like because mechanically to advance the game you need to like unlock these flags by hearing someone say something and it's always in these ridiculous circumstances that are super specific except like you could have just fucking asked and been like hey guys here's what's going on and isabo would have been like oh that sounds like timecraft and it would have saved you like 40 loops <laughs> <laughs> But timecraft is supposed to be impossible to control. How can you use it? Yet alone do it. <clears throat> I didn't get that rest of that. Do it on such a grand scale. Do it on such a grand scale. There we go. If the bright one isn't bright enough to know of timecraft, they will not be bright enough to understand how. Ouch. Don't be mean to friend. Shut up. Timecraft. That's something to look into, isn't it? Either way. It doesn't seem like he's the one trapping you here. Since you're here, it might be worth it to beat the king now so you can go talk to the head housemaiden. She said something before about how you're looping, about something being broken. She knew something. After that, you have to find more information about Timecraft somewhere. You can always go back and fight the king if you have anything else to talk about. Someone chat. Oh, th <laughs> oh, this isn't the last loop, is it? Looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Oops, that you? <laughs> I just imagined fucking goes back to loop. I need to learn timecraft. Oh, well, that's simple. Well, it's just this one hand gesture. You just put one of your index fingers straight up in the air, and then your thumb perpendicular out to the side. <laughs> what is this? Ah, <laughs> loser! <laughs> I assume when you said one so. finger, it was the middle one. <laughs> no, he like... L, as in, like, doing an L. <laughs> an L on your forehead. Well. <laughs> I feel like if if Loop did that to see if he would just implode. <laughs> L plus ratio, Stardust. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, we're fucked, aren't we? <laughs> Bomb time. Bomb time. Bomb time. I'll come back. Sorry. Whoa. What the? Throw that bomb. Yo. Crab, yeah! Yes! Take that, king! Ooh, that felt satisfying. You Ooh. fucking hit me with a bomb. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, I thought he was flipping them off. That's the L craft. <gasps> the secret time craft. L plus ratio craft. <laughs> plus your black and white. Oh. Now I'm going to go. I love Oh, that. love that. Bullshit. Yeah, Odile's special craft uh, pose is really, really good. I feel like you could edit the sparkle to be like, just just any any like thing that you want her to be offering you like a burger or something just here you go 
I missed it while it was relevant, but someone in chat said something funny. They said, I stopped at the borders because I forgot my passport. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that, like, with Timecraft, that wouldn't matter. Oh, yeah. The entire oh. world gets engrossed immediately. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> It's a bow. I don't, I don't think he'd like do it immediately. There was time now. There was time now. You've heard this before. Don't have the right to cry. King doesn't answer. Boo hoo. We back. This... Oh, we're so back. Isabeau's super ability is so good. It's just an all buff, including speed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go up to the king. Hey man, die. Yeah. Hey man, <laughs> die. I was uh, really getting you guys, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying it. You need to go watch Koo Eater. He's really fucking funny. Okay. <laughs> fucking love Koo. That's my cat. How is he? He's all right. Okay. Um, yeah, he was being, he was not eaten this morning, and he was meowing in a way that I've never heard him meow before, so I took him to the vet. You have heard this, this before. Before. Oh. <laughs> How strangely astute. Finn Underwood says RPG Maker MV doesn't like skipping through in battle common events, hence the prompt to skip rather than holding a button. That's very niche knowledge. That's pretty cool. <laughs> huh. Kitty's okay. He got some fluids and he got some some medicine. And, Bro, I uh, love fluids. Yeah. You get some fluids. He'll Let's be all go. right. Let's Unfortunately, go. I own the sickest cat in the world. Mm, I I know. Know. You did go out of your way to be like, oh, let me. Which cat should I adopt? And you saw Ku and you were like, a zombie. I shall take <laughs> him. Yeah, he's a fucked up little cat. Uh, and I love him for it, but also, they didn't tell me how sick he was when I adopted him. Like, he looked sick, but they didn't tell me how sick. They didn't tell me, like, held together with duct tape sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they just go, me how... I must warn you, this cat is made of paper mache. <laughs> oh, from the paper ass family. <laughs> <laughs> That's no good. I don't think I had the shield up. Yeah. Uh oh! oh my bad. Uh-oh. I, it wasn't, it, I'm pretty sure Mirabelle didn't even have it rezzed again. I needed to pass her a couple more turns. That's okay. You've forgotten the pain, but at least you can move a little this time. Stars, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. You try to speak. Bonnie, run away. Bonnie, run away. We've said this. Yeah. I, I can't skip it. You have heard this before. I have heard this before. Oh, I can use my special move. Thanks. Well, rip. <laughs> Dev. Help us. <laughs> Help me. Help, Help me. me. That went great. I would love it if, like, you loop back in, but for all of them that are sitting there eating and Seafood just goes, fuck! God damn it! It's like, what? Did, did, like, did like, something whoa. happen? No, it's all fine. No, okay, it's all but... fucking fine. <sighs> Great. Now you guys are all like worried and shit. Whatever. Jumps in the fire. Oh my god, Sanford <laughs> just restart. Oh, I should have used the time tier. It would have been much faster. Oh, why did I do this? Oh, Stardust, by the way, you're out of loops. What? <laughs> Mirabelle, brush my hair real fast. <laughs> Stardust, by the way, you're immune to fire. Hmm. Hmm. Ever hear of fire punch? Oh, thank God. The family thing persists. Family. Family, family. persists. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't jump forward and, like, I didn't use a loop to skip anything. I just died, and that was like a save reloading, basically. Yeah. Once again, thank you, Dev. Thank you, Dev. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. Well, you guys go ahead and make the next 15 minutes interesting somehow. 
Oh, oh, okay. Uh, 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 um, really beefing it so far. Hey, I wanted to point hey. out. <laughs> I wanted to point out. Hold on. I wanted to point out that line where Isabo says talky talk. I was like, oh, he just is Will. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think I say. It. I didn't want to interrupt you acting, but I was just like, oh. No, wow. clearly I wasn't. <laughs> if it's just yeah. me, I don't say talky talk. Although I do have other terms that would be similar, like that's some shit you'd say. Yeah, mm. I mean, like it wouldn't surprise me if Isabeau said toodles. If he yeah. said buckaroo, we'd yes. really be in for a fucking ride. We'd be in for it now. Hey, Aloha, <laughs> can you uh, can you ban that yellow name guy spamming in chat? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jello Plasgams, can you get that guy? Plasgams? <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. What did you just fucking say to me? <laughs> That's not your word. You can't say that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, a friendly reminder for people that might have popped in late. Uh, Savvy did complete the. Uh, Odile in Jordans. It is not safe for work. I cannot stress this enough. I haven't seen the person who was looking at it at work in a while. Hope the job's okay. Uh, <laughs> hope, you, hope your job's cool, dude. Also, thank you guys for the supers. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Dev says, I'm here in Jello's chat to make sure everyone is having a nice, wholesome time. Savvy immediately draws Odile in Jordans. Hey. <laughs> We're j like we're just changing up the costume a lot. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Added a skin, Dev. I drew that with nothing but wholesome thoughts in my heart. Okay. Oh, I thought you were leaving that. I, I drew that with nothing, and I'm like, that is correct. Besides the shoes, <laughs> I drew that, and you all have to deal with it. <laughs> that Ain't is that a just huge problem. It. Oh, okay then, heart. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Glad Will wants to check on me. Oh, thank God they're okay. Whew. They're here. Don't look behind you. They listened. They listened to um, to Heisenberg in the car. You know. <laughs> yeah. Hank, her tits are out. Hank, don't open it. <laughs> Hank. You legit, I. Picked up Koo from the vet, ran back here, um, got on stream. He immediately vomited, so I had to stand up and clean that. Oh my and then God. somebody rang my doorbell, and then it was a maintenance guy, so he just started opening my door. And when the door opened, I was like, go away, not right now, dude. <laughs> I can't catch a fucking break. I just want to be in the ISAT stream, man. Yeah. <laughs> I like this chat. I've got, I'm gonna do it. I drew those Jordans in a cave with a box <laughs> of scraps. <laughs> I don't wanna protect myself anymore. I don't wanna protect myself anymore. I'm just thinking of rolling down a hill of garbage. I think that might be pretty cool. <laughs> The dev. Jordan's killed my grandma, okay? <laughs> Jordan's killed my grandma, okay? Weird that multiple people named Jordan did that. Very weird. <laughs> just, just a group of Jordans, just, we are going to beat you to death. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. That the little noise sounded like a startled frog. Just, whoa. Whoa. Well, <laughs> green. I have Go been practicing read. making YouTube poop sounds, and that is one of them. Whoa. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I really love YouTube poops, specifically sentence mixing ones. I do not enjoy the loud ones that are just, yeah. you know, just making it loud and random because apparently that's funny. No, it's all about the sentence mixing, and I think we need to bring it back because it was legit one of my it's legit one of my favorite things. Da things, the channel Da Things is out there doing the doing the Lord's work, dude. Hmm. 
Do you uh, have to ask those questions for a successful fight, or is it just dialogue? No, I don't know why I would. Seafriend learned what they learned, so. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense. That's true. <laughs> Aloha. Aram's really good at pooping it. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha banned that guy. <laughs> it's that same guy. Get yeah, him, Aloha. Aloha, get him. <laughs> You're normally on point with this. What happened, man? <laughs> Sleeping at the wheel. <laughs> Don't ban me. God, who's even, who's even fucking paying this guy, dude? What even? <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Dude, 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 dude. Don't be mean to me. You're right. We're sorry, Aloha. You yeah, do an sorry. excellent job. I can't stress that enough. You always do a great job. <laughs> that's dude, it. There's no bit that follows. That's actually Just that's praise. him being banned and uh, getting Team Rocket blasting off again. Don't be mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> it was mentioned in chat. Be the change you want to see in the world in terms of me making you. Two poops. When I get better at editing and also don't find editing to be like literally dropping a ton of bricks on my face, um, maybe I will. I still struggle to, uh, <laughs> I still struggle because it feels a little bit alien to me, which means my brain is like, this isn't fun. I want to go eat donuts. <laughs> you have heard this before in all caps. <laughs> oh my god. They don't need to give a lot a lawyer. <laughs> Power. Savvy, do you have OCs? Can I make you fan art? I do have OCs. I don't have anywhere where they are collected in a convenient fashion, however. Aside from just scrolling through my media. You all attack the king and hit as hard as you could. If you if you did fan art of my OCs, I would be I would explode. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh he went and got he went and got something. He went and got a cold one. I no, a I cold needed one. A, I, the cold one was secondary. I needed a um I needed a towel. Mm -hmm. I got so scared of the king I peed a little. <laughs> I, was oh. say, I was like, ew, Jello. <laughs> no, I I have some lunch here and it's it's been sitting there for a while because I've been playing, so it's drippy and gross. Buh. Not yet. Not whoa, I'm a ghost. <laughs> Is the cold one lemonade? It's aha sparkling water, um, lemon and blackberry. It's S-tier bubble water. It's also aha's only good flavor. You're happy to see them happy. We did it again. Great. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. Thanks for the hug. I'm dying. <laughs> Gotta do this shit again. Oh, we can go to the window this time, can we? Oh, that would be me. Stephen, uh, I will kill you with my bare hands if you bring us any closer. Ooh, how high are we? I wanna... Please stop the kid from coming closer to the edge. I'm gonna faint. I'm seriously gonna faint. If I see the kid gets any closer to the grabbing edge... She said crab. Come here, guys, all right? You both take a few steps back to Rishiro Odile. Thank you. Fear of heights is no joke, huh, madam? Tell me about it. You're too cool. You needed one weakness. Hmm. Fear of heights is, like, the most reasonable fear. Yep, not a fan. Heights killed my mom, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Once more. <laughs> here again. Last time you got here, you looped right back to the start after talking to the head housemaiden, didn't you? Is the loop breaking when you talk to her? Does she know why? If you talk to her, will time loop back again? But you managed to beat the king, didn't you? Together with your family? You didn't think helping them the day before would amount to anything, but time changed a little, didn't it? Even if it wasn't much, it changed. It changed. You you know them now. You're a family. Isn't it just like the books Bon Bon reads? Friendship fixes everything. And so if you talk to everyone again, 
talk to the head housemaiden again. Maybe, maybe something will change too. You should talk to everyone. Oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. I never said thank you. Hmm? You saved me that time against the sadness. And you saved me when we met. You're the one who saw me back then, right? When I was walking? Uh, when you first met Bonnie forever ago, Bonnie was out of it. They'd been walking away from their village for days when you saw them. Crying, barely hanging on walking to escape the slowly encroaching king's curse. They fainted as soon as you got to their side. I was really, really tired then, so I don't remember well. But you saw me, right? You made everyone notice I was there. And I never said thank you for that. Or for protecting me. So, um... Mm. Thanks, stupid! Bonnie runs into you, pressing their face against your left side. Their arms are still at their sides, though. Is that a hug? Without raising your arms, you gently lean back against them. <laughs> I'll miss you, friend. I know you'll leave soon, but, um... You should come by Bambouche one day, so you can meet my sister. So I can say, that's Frin. They helped me a bunch. They're really cool. So come and see me sometime, yeah? Promise? Yeah, I'll come by. <laughs> Yay. I'll be waiting for you, friend. Bonnie smiles at you. And teleports off the cliff for a frame there. Hey, friend. Bonnie smiles at you. Chicken hey, butt. Hey, Bonnie. Can you not interrupt this time? Hey, Mario. <laughs> hey, Luigi. <clears throat> well, we did it. We won. Whoop, whoop. Ha! <laughs> whoop, whoop, indeed. <laughs> it was fun, traveling with everyone. I will miss it. I suppose everyone will go back to their homes now. Mirabelle will probably stay here. Isabeau will probably go back to Juvente. And we'll ask somebody to a cap we'll ask someone to accompany Bunny back to Bamboosh. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Seafrim? Will you be going back home? Odile? Why not say it in the end? I can never go back home. Oh. Why not? You look away. Oh, Rent. No. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't any of my business. But no home at all. I never knew. I'm sorry. You keep looking away. I'll probably be going back to Carbway soon. Our paths will diverge soon, but if you ever come towards Carbway, please come by and say hello, won't you? Don't be a stranger, Seafren. You nod. <laughs> As you walk towards Isabeau, he's like, <gasps> and then you walk like, ah. Seafren, <laughs> <laughs> I know you may be tired of hearing this by now, but I'm glad we talked yesterday. Thank you for fifty dollars. Oh, that's actually very sweet. I do mm. have to absolutely thank you, Savvy, for help me, helping me realize I wasn't alone. Thank Aww. you. Aww. That really means a lot to me. Thank you. Someone else draws Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought change was about changing yourself, and only yourself. If I couldn't be how I thought I had to be, clearly the fault was mine, you know? It's my responsibility to change, even if I don't want to. That's what I thought, at least. But if even you, Seafrin, can understand what I'm going through, if you're the same, even in a small way, then I must believe that I'm not the only one feeling this way about the change belief either. And if I'm not the only one feeling restricted by the change belief, if there's more people out there feeling the same as I do, then shouldn't the belief change instead of us? What do you mean by even me? I'm gonna start a schism, see, friend. <laughs> Blood will be spilt. <laughs> cool. I have a lot ahead of me still. 
but I never would have realized this without you, Seaprin. So whenever you're done traveling, or... What? Yeah, no, I read that right. Whenever you're done traveling, or if you'd like to stay someplace for a little while, maybe think about coming coming to visit Dormont just to say hi. But you don't have to. It's just an idea. I'd like that, Mirabelle. <laughs> I'm glad we're friends, Seyfrin. Don't forget about me on your journey, okay? Mirabelle smiles at you happily. That's the sun. Outside. Sick. Hey, SpongeBob, what's that big thing in the sky? Anyway. <laughs> Safe! We did it! We beat the king! You wanted to tell me something? Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, I, I did! Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay, so, the thing. I said I would tell you, uh, is, is... He's about stares at you thoughtfully. <sighs> uh, never mind. What is it? No, oh, I just, it doesn't really matter that much. I really want us to have uh, feelings talky talk about your feelings before we go our separate ways. And I can always tell you my thing after that. So, never mind. Sorry. I'll tell you later. But... But but you could tell me your thing now. Wow, you're really curious about it, huh? Uh, but nope. I will not say a thing. Oh, but I will say something, though. I'm glad we're friends, Seafren. Oh. Somehow you feel a little let down that he didn't try the usual thing, but... I'm glad we're friends, too, Isa. Oh! Oh. <laughs> uh... uh, uh... You going with that? Okay. I don't know what else you want me to do. <laughs> Aww. 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 Oh, that makes more sense. I don't know. Oh crap! I think I might cry. <laughs> We're friends. You're friends. You suppose cheeks are dark. <laughs> You're sure yours are too. You can't say his cheeks are red because <laughs> there's no color. <laughs> you both smile. I hope. I hope you'll at least visit sometime, safe. Our journey is over, but don't be a stranger, yeah? You nod. Isabeau, you piece of shit. <laughs> Isabeau smiles at you bashfully. Damn. Let's at least eat together tonight, hmm? Odile smiles at you gently. Oh, parkour. Let's go. <laughs> parkour. Don't forget, okay? <clears throat> All right, you big bitch, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he straight up wasn't here, you big bitch. <laughs> that's, that's how people greet me. <laughs> <laughs> Last time she said the loop was broken, and you loop back for no reason you can tell, but now that you're here with your family, it has to change, doesn't it? Time might not loop again because you're loved. You should talk to her quickly before the loop restarts on its own again. Hello! Traveling one, are you done talking with your companions? Yes, wonderful, wonderful! Wait, isn't she saying the same things as last time? I'd like to thank you for accompanying young Mirabelle this far. I'm very grateful. Seafreen, yes? If there's anything I can do to thank you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, stars, no. She's saying the exact same thing she did last time. I know you will go back on your travels soon, but I do hope... No, no, it should have been different, shouldn't it? You said something different this time. You're with your family, and they love you this time, so... So then, why is she repeating the exact same thing? But no matter what, know that Dormont will always be open to you. Please come back any... time. Oh... Oh no, oh no, 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 no. You breathe, you breathe, you breathe. The power of friendship, huh? Why would whatever happened before change anything now? Because you're loved now? You were safe? Is that what you thought? Stupid, stupid, stupid. You try and breathe. Oh, Seyfried. It's fine, it's just the end again. It's the same. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> no, why did my stream crash now? That's the end of the game. What do you mean? <laughs> Stream's fine. There's no way we could stop it now. You'll just be... You'll be coming back. Back when everything started. See? You already know what will happen after that. If you know what happens next, it means you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Seafren. Hey, what's up? Something wrong? You turn your head. Odile is looking right at you. Great face. You can't shift your expression fast enough. Seafren? What is it? Is everything okay? Head house maiden, is something the matter? I can't fix it on my own, not before it all ends. If only I'd noticed sooner. Huh? What's happening? Friend? You can't move. You're frozen. Seafren, what's... Seafren, what's... <coughs> Is something happening? The air around us, it feels like... Ugh. My head hurts. It's my fault that you have to suffer like this. Seafren! They're all running, reaching towards you. Friend, come back! Something's wrong! You have to move. Say, friend! Just move. I just hope that one day... You can catch Isabeau's hand. Save! Save! Save, friend! You might learn. You take a step forward. To forgive. And then... Deb dabs cutely. <laughs> <laughs> you open your eyes, hand already reaching out. Reaching out to nothing. I will always hate this scene. Hee <laughs> hee! Can, Deb, can you I. Leech. It's so funny. Can, can I just say, you did. Dev, you did one of my absolute all time favorite things, which is the moment in a story where, like, two people suddenly realize that something is happening and there's just that moment of them looking at each other. It, I don't know what to call that trope, but that fucks me up every time it happens because it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, the situation has changed. <laughs> Stupid. You press your palms against your eyes and laugh. You really believed it, stupid. You really thought this was it. You really thought helping them would save you. If you helped them, if you were loved, it had to save you, didn't it? Friendship would save you, wouldn't it? <laughs> it was different, oh, but not enough to save you. And now, Mirabelle is back to feeling awful and out of place. Isabeau won't remember the night you spent under the stars. Odile is still hiding everything about herself. Bon Bon is back to Bonnie, is back to hating you. Oh, that's a good line. And you're back here. That's what you get for hoping. That's what you deserve. <laughs> oh, Mirabeau will be here soon, won't she? <laughs> Just breathe, Seifrin. The power of friendship didn't work, it's fine. All you can do is try something else now. It's fine that it didn't work. It's fine that they don't remember. It's all fine that everything that just happened has been reset. It's totally fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Back to the stage. You got memory of family. You'll always remember this. Oh. As for the head housemaiden, she didn't say anything different. It was the exact same even though... Even though everything about her was different. Why is she repeating the same thing over and over? It was almost like you weren't there. The king spoke of something called timecraft. It might be time to find out more. You should ask the Dormont Librarian, see if they know something. Gun achievement, get to the end. 
Oh, the music's at the normal pace again. I think that the slowed down music was a, like a random chance event. Oh, then it was timed pretty well for us. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I do love that the dev, uh, while you was talking in that last bit, uh, said, "Does the lethal company dance?" <laughs> <laughs> dev also complimented you. It said, "Great acting." Uh, thank you. Yeah, for real. Dev really pulling the energy of like, you burned my house down! What am I supposed to do? And just yeah, dancing. you burned my house to the ground! <laughs> my whole family's dead! What do I do? <laughs> I'm gonna find you, motherfucker! <laughs> Timecraft. Like, um, specifically? I'm not sure. You should look through books about craft. We have one here, but it might not talk about Timecraft much. I wonder where you could find Craftonomy books. Craftonomy. The librarian notices your confusion. Uh, the study of craft in general is called craftonomy. I don't think the libraries here or in the house carry any. Maybe you should look elsewhere. Also, why am I thinking of, about candles right now? Must be nothing. Someplace other than the libraries. Maybe someone's dorm room in the house? What is craft? Crafting for dummies. You can give that last one to call me. <laughs> Pick up the book and open it to a random page. Protection craft, creative craft, and piercing craft, or commonly known as rock, paper, scissors. It's a book. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. blah. You flip through the book. You flip through the book. Body craft, time craft, blah, blah, blah. You flip through the book. Time craft. You shouldn't be able to craft time. <laughs> There's a piece of paper taped to the page with a tiny face drawn on it. The tiny face is up upside down smiling, saying, ha ha ha, funny joke. <laughs> hmm. Timecraft not being achievable was the theory for a long time, but the king is able to freeze people in time, isn't he? And what makes you loop in time could be considered timecraft too. Wow, they made a sequel already? I thought they didn't even make this the first <laughs> one. Whoa. <laughs> Your mind can't seem to get a hold of the letters. Hmm. Diletta, isn't that your character from Evan Awards? <laughs> well, darn tootin'. Diletta Delato. A Delato what? Dollars. Where's the. Oh! There's someone oh. in this town who's like really into that series. Is it this person? Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, the dev had also offered earlier is like, Oh you're... no, it resets to the most recent one you've seen? No, why? Oh, does it keep going? Oh, that sucks. Okay. You gotta like go find the I already stories. found it, it's 87. Ah. Uh. Be what you were saying. Uh, Dev had politely asked if you wanted a hint, uh, just ask, but they won't provide it unless requested. Yeah, I'm. I'm good to just get told where to go because I know the mechanics of the next couple sections are get things across the house, and I want to do that as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. I know where some of these. I, I know where some of them are. Okay, this seems important. You know, Having people you consider family is nice. It really is, isn't it? I hope you all get to spend more time together. Okay. You only get to ask her about one person per. Uh, Dev says, uh, the first floor candle room to the left of the map. Is that the only one? Because I did, I did write that one down. Okay. Hey, Isabeau. Hey, Issa, I need to do the favor tree thing. Oh, sorry, I'm in your way then, aren't I? I'll get out of your hair. See, uh, at the, say croissant? Clock, Clock tower. tower. Oh, that makes more sense. Welcome back, Stardust. <sighs> Bummer vibes. Power of love didn't cut it, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping this could be it somehow, too. But at least you found out more about your party, didn't you? You had fun, didn't you? What is it all good for if they'll all forget it in the next loop? 
Yeah, but... For once, Loop seems to be at a loss for words. In the meantime, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? I want to die. <laughs> okay. Stardust! <laughs> Why Stardust? Because you're what's left, I suppose. What's left of what? And because it's a cute nickname. You're my little stardust. My cutie patootie little stardust. Ew, but just say you don't want to answer, it's fine. But it's so much fun to annoy you instead. Distracting people with puns and jokes is the best way to evade stupid questions. Yeah, you can relate. At the end, Isabeau... Ah, oh, that thing he'd said he'd tell you at the end of your journey. Hmm. He mentions he wants to tell you something when you go to sleep. Uh, when you go and sleep at the clock tower. That's, I feel like we already read... Th yeah, we read this already. Mm-hmm. We didn't get interrupted. Interesting. And yet, nothing. All right, bye. All right, bye! Also, check your toot at the door next time, Stardust. Hmm. <laughs> I've been kind of going through it, Loop. <laughs> a very dangerous fruit, which if, if approached will spell your doom. This is just a banana peel. Do bananas even grow here? But wait, instead of a banana peel, could it be a plantain peel? Whatever. Like ah! are just bananas that taste bad. That's fucking true. <laughs> this is a banana peel to you, now and forevermore. Step closer. You decide to step closer. Here we go. Fucking eat it. Ha! Ah! Jesus Christ. Oh, that's why that's there. Yeah. That's it's so in clever. In town kill. Truly a dangerous forbidden fruit, but since death seems to be the easiest way to loop, this banana peel might come in useful sometimes. <laughs> the phrase come in useful always wigs me out. Rather than come, come in useful? Come in your stream? <laughs> Dude, does useful let you do that? <laughs> <laughs> such, a, such a little goblin. <laughs> it's very good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Almost got you. Almost, Almost got, got you that, that time. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Almost got you. Oh, is this a craftology book? Piercing craft, creative craft. Where's the protecting craft chap? It's a craft onomy book, not a craftology book. This one is about the study of craft, not your fortune. A book about the study of craft. Could have any information on time craft, maybe? Does that craftonomy book have anything on timecraft? Timecraft? What for? Hmm. This is related to our situation, isn't it? With the king? We don't have time. What's timecraft? I don't know what that is. Should we have a crash course on timecraft then? Ugh, fine. I can't read. Odile flips through the book. It does have a section on timecraft. All right, so. Timecraft is, as the name implies, the power to wield and craft time itself. It's a type I, of craft. So, it, stop, stop autoplaying. Jesus Christ. Sorry, my controller is awful because everything I buy breaks. Stopping time, that's what the king does, right? Skipping dialogue, that must be timecraft. <laughs> so the king is using timecraft? King Crimson! The king must. <laughs> the, the king most likely is, yes. Which would make it the first time in history someone managed to harvest that power. Outside of story told in family tales, that is. I've heard scholars outside of Vogard are really excited right now. Timecraft confirmed to be real. So they're happy because he froze people in time? Well, it's more complicated than that. Morals aside, it does change everything we know about Timecraft. Think about how Timecraft could be used. The king is only stopping people's time. But it could be used for many other things. It could be used to hasten or slow people's time too. Maybe make people's bodies younger or older. Maybe make buds grow into trees in an instant. 
Worst case scenario, it could be used to change history itself. Sifrin looking at fucking saplings. Are these really buds? Would I be considered a bud? It would never happen. <laughs> crafting time. Crafting time to go back in time and change history. Whoa. Whoa. The possibilities are endless and terrifying. Definitely not the kind of power you want in someone's hands. And definitely not someone like the king. And correct me if I'm wrong, but crafting time wouldn't be like crafting clay to a specific shape or crafting a sword. Those are easy enough to do and won't tire you out. But crafting time? Something as basic and essential as time? Wouldn't it ask for immense amounts of power? Exactly. Crafting clay barely asks for any power from the user. But crafting time... It was theorized that crafting time, even to pause time for a single second, would probably kill the user immediately. Huh? Kill them dead? Kill them dead. And yet the king is still alive. So it raises the question. What gave him enough power to use timecraft without dying? And how did he learn how to use it? Good questions, Isabeau. You have pretty smart insights sometimes. <laughs> I sure do. Is upset. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, screaming. <gasps> Timecraft is what the king uses, and it's dangerous. Got it. I suppose talking about this was useful. I'm surprised you're curious about this, though, Seafren. You shrug. Timecraft. The type of craft that allows the user to control time. Isn't that what you and the king have been using? But neither of you should be able to use it. Using it would ask for immense amounts of power. So then, what gave you this power? Maybe you should ask the king about this. But what if it isn't enough? What if he doesn't want to tell you anything about Timecraft? You've talked to the king and the, hand ha and the head housemaiden. Are those really the only two people that would know anything about the loops you're stuck in? Who else could you talk to about the loops? Your party. Oh, wait. There is one person. Ring, ring. Banana phone. Ding loop, dong, loop, ding, loop, dong, loop. ding dong ding banana phone it's a plantain a phone phone. actually oh <laughs> what the fuck up hello hello loop speaking thank you for calling how may i help you you're doing so many different things what do you need help with find more about the loops So you found out more about Timecraft, and the head housemaiden just repeated everything when you saw her. What else could you do to find out more about the loops? Maybe you could talk to someone whose name is Loop, huh? Oh, I have to do it at the tree, huh? Okay, bye. <laughs> dum dum dum. Fuck! Ah! <laughs> Guys, I need us to die here. What? Rose printed glasses. Mm. That's a. I, I like that pun. What does it do? It's a. Uh, this paper. Oh. Oh, it's a double jackpot paper. That's Ooh. really good. Oh. Smack that ass. I gotta say, Isabeau not having his super buff move really sucks. <laughs> Mechanically. Fuck. It's okay. Just do all the friendship stuff again. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> no. That's right. I don't want to. I don't think they're worth it. It's gonna explode, so I'm just gonna smack it. Five dollars super chat. I'll only talk to you if you come and see these dogs. <laughs> Savvy, I'm gonna send you a, a post that Koo just made that I thought was very funny. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> That's him! <laughs> <laughs> That's... I don't know why... I don't know what I expected him to look like, 
somehow that is not what I expected right, it yeah. to look like. Well, his icon's always a skeleton, so you always have, like, a different perception. Why does he have it? skin? Yeah. yeah I mean, worse? Why does he have flesh? Whoa! This <laughs> is bullshit. Why is he a fleshy boy? <laughs> That's such a... I love the fucking reaching out. <laughs> I don't right like talking energy. on the phone, Stardust. It gives me anxiety. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Loop was a millennial. For clarification, I am a millennial. I can make that joke. I'm not being. Oh, yeah, people. no. Why None did anyone like, assume you would? <laughs> it's um, the Savvy internet. Is... Savvy is cancelled. <laughs> Listen. Millennial's not your word. You can't say that. Don't what worry, happened while I was getting raspberry? Oh, Vixen, I don't even have the time. But since you asked, Savvy! <laughs> I said, you know, I just said five slurs back to back. <laughs> wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Bo and I were watching a bunch of um, One Piece movies that were fan dubbed like 15 years ago. And uh, a lot of R slurs in those. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah, er early 2000s movies, you, you gotta be careful. <laughs> early two With early 2000s movies in particular, it's not even like a coin flip. It's just like... When. It's like, it's just when. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, usually I'd be worried about this stuff. <laughs> Kills myself. No! <laughs> Oh, it's been one, two, three. You've just passed your 20th loop. 20. Is that a lot or too little still? Back to it. Oh, man. Happy birthday. My loops can almost drink. Oh, I just remembered, uh, apropos of, like, literally nothing. Um, I want to go get some, uh, some fucking double cream and mascarpone cheese at some point, because I'm going to make myself a homemade tiramisu, baby. Ooh, mascarpone. Oh, that's not how I heard that. What did you hear? I thought, I, I was trying to process what was it. I was like, I thought he was like, mm, Master Porn, no cheese. And I was like, what? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> well, only I would be able to have access to the Master Porn, no cheese, <laughs> oh, you know? God. Did you know that Savvy has a not safe for work account with Odile and Jays? <laughs> and was... a regular account as well. Oh, yeah, there's that one too. What's the Jays? <laughs> I need pictures of Odile. <laughs> I need pictures of Odile. Uh, so that lady said she was an only child in another loop and says she has a sister this loop. Oh. Oh. While you guys were talking about Jordans or whatever. Yeah, I gave a <laughs> solid 40 seconds for you to stop and it didn't happen. So I was just like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can interrupt us. It was. If we're making stupid jokes, you can interrupt. It was clearly too important. Oh, Hi, clearly. Stardust. So. So. Got any theories about the loops I'm trapped in? Why would I? Your name is literally Loop. Oh, stars above it is. <laughs> Ugh. But just because I call myself Loop doesn't mean I know anything. I'm just bad at names. But I'll see what I can do. What's your question? Do you know anything that could help? Such a broad question, Stardust. As I've told you before, I know as much as you do right now. How can that be? What do you mean? Aren't you here to help me? Why don't you know more about the loops you're supposed to help me with? <laughs> don't you tee-hee me! Oh. I still don't have a good answer for you, Stardust. Isn't it already nice that you have me to talk about those loops? You could be alone, stuck with only your tiny brain for company, with no one to talk to. <sighs> Okay, okay, okay. Well, why don't we summarize what we know about those loops? We might find something out. You sigh and nod. Nothing better to do, you suppose. So, 
You're currently stuck in a time loop for some unknown reason. The loop starts when you wake up in Dormont and seems to end when you talk to the head housemaiden. Unless I die first or touch a tear. Getting bad vibes from Loop now. Bro, Loop has been bad vibes the whole time <laughs> they've yeah. existed. The most sus character. Yes. And I do know Loop's deal now. Wiggles my arms a little bit. Yes. Maybe the Loop considers getting frozen in time by those tears a sort of death? But why aren't you looping back when you get frozen in battle? Huh? Isn't it because... I thought the tears work differently than an actual time freeze skill. Is that so? Well, you're the one getting frozen, so you'd know. So, you loop if something keeps you from advancing in some way. I wonder if other things would count as keeping you from advancing. Like what? Like, what if we cut off your legs? Would you immediately loop back? You can't advance if you have no legs, right? Um... I'd rather not test that one. Oh, but understandable. But it is interesting, though. What makes the loop actually loop? Maybe... Does the loop consider talking to the head housemaiden something that keeps you from advancing somehow? Oh, maybe, but... What would advancing even mean, then? Towards what goal? Is there something that happens when you talk to the head housemaiden that makes a certain goal impossible to accomplish? I get it. They want me to kiss Isabo. <laughs> <laughs> As you found out, all of this might be the work of Timecraft, a power that should be impossible to use. But you and the king are somehow able to manipulate it. But am I manipulating Timecraft if I can't control it? But you can, can't you? You can more or less control where you come back. Except when you talk to the head housemaiden, it seems, which brings you back to the start. But just being able to loop back in time and avoid death might count as you being able to use Timecraft. But if Timecraft is supposed to be too dangerous to even use, how did I get that power? And how can you break the loop for good? Yes, those are the big questions, aren't they? I do wonder about the limitations of your power still. What makes you actually loop? Somehow, I feel like finding out more about that would be useful. Stardust, we've been talking for a while, so... Maybe not right now, but... When you have some time, will you hang out with me for a bit? Huh? Hang out? I have... A theory I'd like to test, and... And we haven't spent any time together, Stardust. I'm lonely. I want to have a long conversation with someone, anyone. I want to hang out. Ugh. Again, it doesn't have to be right now. Our little hangout time might last a while, maybe even longer than the rest of the day. I'm sure you have plans for this loop, so I can wait until you have time. Okay. A theory loop would like to test about the loops. Cuts your legs. It might be useful. You should talk to Loop and hang out with them when you have time, then. Yay! I'll be waiting, Stardust! In the meantime, how can I help you on this wonderful new Loop? We should hang out now. Oh! Our theory hangout. Yes! <laughs> but we can't actually hang out right now. It'd be pretty useless. Uh, so how about you come back here early tomorrow, after you're done acting things out at the clock tower? Wait. You want me to sneak out? And spend a loop with me, yes. But you always go to the house after the clock tower. If you're not here, what will everyone do? What will everyone think? Does it matter what they think? They'll forget all about it in your next loop, after all. Oh, I don't like this. Ugh. I guess it doesn't. Neat! Will you come, <laughs> then? I'll come, yeah. Neat! I'll see you soon, then! You nod. I'm just watching chat like a hawk for death. That makes me so... Uh... Early in the morning, while everyone is still asleep, oh. you quietly slip away and head to the favor tree. Oh, why, are guys, I don't, I... why are you guys freaking out? Are my vibes as rancid as my dogs now? <laughs> no, I, this, is, this is the first true time in this game. I'm like, no, 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 no. But you can't see Loop anywhere. Up there, Stardust! Up there! Up there? Did Loop go back to their home or something? You look up. 
Loop is waving at you from the top of the tree. I'm here! I'm here! Come and join me, Stardust! How? Oh, come on. Just climb the tree. I know you can do it. You sigh and climb the tree. Pushes you. Ah! <laughs> Aw. Your hat looks like a face. <sighs> Isn't it pretty, Stardust? We're so high up. You are. You can see the house from there. Everyone will be inside the house soon. You tried not to think about it. Thank you for coming to today's loop hangout. If you hang out with me, it'll take some time and... Well, you know how this goes. I sure do. Hmm. I... Um... I haven't actually prepared anything to talk about. So... Tell me about yourself, Stardust. Really? I'd rather not. Huh? Why not? <laughs> Don't you already know me? Hmm? It just feels like it. You know too much about me. You knew my name. You know how I think. You knew me before we even met, didn't you? Kind of. Kind of? Do I know you? Oh! No, you don't know me. <laughs> don't worry, your memory isn't failing you this time. When we met under the favor tree, that was... That was the very first time we've ever seen each other. Is that so? So then... Oh, sorry. Is that why something. you're helping me? Something. Because you know me? I assume you're helping me. Oh. Not really. When I decided to help you, you were not a factor in the slightest. You are now, I suppose. But does that mean you actually believe me when I say I'm here to help? You don't think I'm lying and I'm actually the one trapping you here or whatever? You really believe that I'm here to help you? Hmm. I do. Oh. You always surprise me, Stardust. I know I wouldn't believe myself if I was in your place. Maybe time has made me more jaded than you are. But it's fine. Whether you believe me or not, I'm here to help you. So you can escape this loop. So you believe it's possible for me to escape? Of course. Why would I be here otherwise? I'm trapped here with you, after all. I want to escape just as much as you do. I know how it feels, you know, to be stuck somewhere with no hope of escape, forced to relive the exact same events over and over, taking any deviation as a sign that things are finally going to change, that everything will be okay, and finding yourself trapped still. <laughs> Look at me talking and talking. Don't pay attention to me. I'm doing fine. Loop laughs sadly and looks at the house in the distance. <sighs> Tell me about yourself, Loop. I'd rather not. <laughs> Loop winks and blows you a kiss. Despite yourself, you laugh. You hear Loop laugh softly as well. <laughs> Say, Stardust, that reminds me. I can't believe your first death was being crushed by the very first trap. How embarrassing. <laughs> hey, you and Loop animatedly talk about the different things you've done during your loops. It's nice to be able to talk about them with someone. You talk and talk until the sun is risen high above you in the sky. Ah. It'll happen soon now. Hmm? What will? The theory crafting part of our hangout session, of course. You open your mouth to ask and then... Oh. <clears throat> you heard a horrible sound. Your head... you saw... something. I'm glad you decided to spend some time with me, Stardust. Sorry it's going to end with this. What? I thought maybe it wouldn't happen, but... See that light in the distance? It's from the king's floor. I see it every time you get far enough to fight him. His first attack. 
The king's first attack. How long have you been talking to Lube? Who was the king attacking? Who was he? The king doesn't attack or do anything until you get to him. He would only attack if... if someone... I can feel it every time. Whatever he does, it makes you see something, doesn't it? Something awful. Something so terrible that it's enough to bring anyone close enough to their knees. Stars, I wonder who he attacked. You can't even hear Loop speak. Your friends. They were against the king just now. You know how to survive his first attack. You found out, but... 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 You hear someone cry out. You look at Loop. Loop is just... Looking at you. Not saying anything. <laughs> Sorry, the death. <laughs> Two eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> no pity in their gaze. No sadness. Just some slight impatience. Like, did you figure it out yet? Did you figure out what made the king attack just now? There's only one answer, Stardust. Just figure it out already so we can move on. Who was the king fighting? Who did the king just kill? Did you figure it out yet? Did you? You start screaming. <laughs> it's because you weren't there! They died because you weren't there! They're gone! Because you weren't there! You cut your head, your hair, your stomach! Because you weren't there! Because of you! They're gone! They're gone! Because of you! 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 You stumble and fall to your knees. You breathe harshly in and out. It's not working. You can't take a full breath. You can't... You hit the ground with your fist. Why? Loop does not answer. Did you know this would happen? Which part? You looping back or your party dying? I had a suspicion about the former. I was certain about the latter. You! Loop is looking straight at you. They don't even seem to care that you drew out your dagger. Somehow this calms you down. If I tell you to breathe, will you? You... You breathe slowly in and out. What was that for? For funsies, of course. You take a step forward. And because I was curious to know how the loops work. Aren't you? How the loops work? How could what just happened teach you anything about the loops? Think, Stardust. Why did you loop back just now? Huh? Because the king won, isn't it? Why would the king winning make you loop? You don't immediately loop back the second you and your party lose, don't you? Don't you? I kind of do, though. No, Stardust. You loop when you die. I... No, it, it takes a little bit. You loop when you die, Stardust. The fact that the king wins is irrelevant. But you didn't die just now, did you? So why did you loop? But... It's the same with the head housemaiden. You don't die when you talk to her, so what makes you loop? You loop when the head housemaiden talks to you, and you loop just now. Why? Don't you think this would be important to figure out? Loop's right. There have been other times you loop back without dying too. But what could be the reason? <laughs> heart condition and dies. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to spend time with you. We never got the opportunity to really talk after all. But, yes, I figured this would happen. I... I won't say sorry, so you can stop waiting for it. Oh, you don't answer. Well, it looks like that's all you can find out about the loops for now. But you can still find out more about the king, can't you? I'll be ready to help you out next loop. 
But for now, I think we both need some time. Come back next to Stardust. You just walk away. Are you mad? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that scene was incredible. That literally had me holding my breath. That was yeah. so good. People were like, Jello, why did you spoil yourself? I'm like, so I can react loop correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you molding, Stardust? Are you molding? <laughs> Do you hate me? Would you kill me? Would you kiss me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, Dev, you can just feed me what to do. Do I just need to loop again and talk to loop after we cool you, off? You could just feed me. Feed me. <laughs> just feed me like I mean, a hedonistic I, emperor. I feel like we've pitched the game quite well. King time, okay. I, um... Yeah, let's just teleport to him. Mm -hmm. I I mean this with complete sincerity and genuine like gen from from a really genuine place in me this kind of writing makes me hope that one day I can write something like this it's really I impressive want, I want to write something that gives other people the same feelings I'm having whenever scenes happen in this game. Mm -hmm. This is so inspiring. Yeah. It's it's nice to have a game where it's like, oh, the writing's great, actually. It's like, mm. I really like the, the use of, like, wiggly letters and, like, yeah. the, mm. the text crawl varying because it, as an actor, it, it gives me so much to work with like it, it informs me immediately what the tone is. My my dumbass was like, yeah, textomancy, because I just couldn't think of the word for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I I'm very impressed with this game. Oh, and I, yeah, it's funny. Okay, I get to keep that. Nice. Glad this is the random game we played that that day. Yeah, yeah. I'm just relooping for to get the key knife. Uh. Does the Lever Company dance with feeling? <laughs> Dreamt you were eating a rotten feeling. apple. Your stomach hurts already. Huh. Why don't you run away? Don't you like my? Imagine style. if Knuckle Sandwich was a life-changing experience. Love <laughs> the mouth. <laughs> hey, Stardust. Oh, baby boy. <laughs> oh. oh, young ones. Are you here to kill me? Oh, oh, all right. Yeah, 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 I'm I'm gonna ask this directly. Who in chat remembers the musical episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Because I fucking love that shit, and I just remembered one of the great songs from it. <laughs> Ho holler at me. <laughs> well, chatters. Do you? Yeah. You the real. You the real ones. So Remember you're the... using Timecraft? Timecraft? I suppose I am. I'm what Odile. Oh, right. Uh, but if you're using Timecraft, I was thinking about Buffy, sorry. <laughs> How do you manage to control it? Timecraft should, <clears throat> Time should use immeasurable amounts of power that no mere human could have. So how? <laughs> yes, it is true. I could not have harvested Timecraft on my own, so I had some help. Help? Who would- oh. I always forget I play her. Oh, Jello. I- I get too into the rhythm of just pressing the next button and wait- That's like, fair. Listening for when you guys are where in the sentence. Mm. Isn't it obvious? The universe would. Uh. Oh. Oh, I only had to wish for it, and the universe delivered. The universe? Who is that, a person? No, it's... it's... 
Wow, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't seem to remember. It's... what's beyond this plane, correct? What's in the sky? You clench your fists. The king sobs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I knew Vogardians were ignorant of it, but I did not think travelers from other countries were, too. How... how could you have... The Guardians, huh? Interesting choice of words. Are you not from Vogard yourself? He isn't, Madame Odile. I feel like I've seen an article about it somewhere recently. I saw it today. Where was it again? So you're not from Vogard, but you still want to freeze it in time. Where do you call home, then? The king flinches. He does not answer. You shake your head and breathe out. An article about the king somewhere? If Mirabel remembers it, you might have seen it somewhere too. Could it be somewhere in the house? Okay, so gotta find that. Uh, I'm just gonna button mash until he kills us. Fair enough. That's faster than winning. Correct. Kia. Yeah. They yeah. call it being suicidal, Drello. Oh, uh, getting uh, killing myself is faster than winning. <laughs> <laughs> Rawr. Hey Dev, I know, I know, like you put out a Q and A, so I imagine you don't love getting this question, because uh, people like to ask about the uh, an art book coming out. Do you know? Do you have any idea, like what platform that would be on when it's going to be purchasable? Because I definitely want to see all of the art of all the characters and such. Yeah. And I'm the kind of person who will forget unless I have like a place to be looking at it. This is new. What am I supposed to remember? <sighs> PDF. Okay. Bright one. As you lay there, dying, what do you see? The ceiling. You hear Isabeau laugh tiredly. Hearing it, you laugh too. Oh. Oh, so even death will not bring it back. I knew this. I knew this, and yet, oh. <laughs> the king strikes. Bonk. Oh, you were bonked. <laughs> okay. uh, where's the news article? I, I am just I am just running through the new stuff because I reasonably I only think we have this in one more session before I'm gone for the rest of the month and I also have to finish bugs, so I I really just uh... first floor busy boy yeah uh Dev also says I'm glad you're seeing the death scenes because it seems like I made the king way too easy and people didn't see them oh. Well, don't worry, I'm stupid and forgot to use Mirabel's <laughs> ability. Oh, welcome back, Jello's fire alarm. Um, cameo! What a cameo, guys. Great. Oh. It was a, it was a small <laughs> fire. No, it always does that. Just it's just uh, the fire alarms in my building are completely broken and useless. Hooray! So that's probably a record since the last time it went off. A couple months, maybe. Wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. When Savvy showed me the Odile in Jordans and asked for feedback, oh. I screen capped her hand because he had it. I don't know if this was on purpose, but you had it in the paper pose. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's paper. And yeah. uh, I... <laughs> I, I responded like, oh, you got it in the paper seal. And you were like, oh, yeah, would love to use scissors on her. What? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you calling me out, Jello? <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Teehee, call out. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting upset. I'd just say that on stream if it came up, you know. Damn <laughs> <laughs> right. Go right. <laughs> the notes. The handwriting is so terrible you can barely read what's on it. Some rolled up papers. You unroll one. It's a bunch of sketches of landscapes. I'm trying to see if I can talk to these floor thingies. 
some papers. They seem to be various newspaper articles about the king. Ooh, it would have taken me a long time to find that. <laughs> you never looked at them very closely before, have you? You take a step forward. Oh, so many articles about the king. His conquest was slow enough that the Vogardian press had time to write about him. I remember that. But there's no one to write them now. You all start reading random articles. This article is about his slow march to Dormont's house. This one is about him probably being from another country than Vogard. He really isn't Vogardian then? Oh, apparently not. This article says there's no record of him anywhere. Up until he appeared out of thin air sometime in his adulthood. Hmm. Looks like he lived in the city of Corbeau for a few years before he became the king. So he was a traveler? Like Fryn and Deal? Please don't compare us to him, thank you. That's right. He did talk about Vogardians before, the way he phrased it. It did seem like he thought of the Vogardians as people other than himself. And he said he thought of Vogard as welcoming, always willing to welcome people in, even someone with no name, no home to speak of. You should go and ask the king where he's from later. Hmm. Oh. This article is about his fashion sense. Huh? From what I've heard, he does have a very distinctive hairstyle. This article is more about his armor, actually. They even included a sketch. Look. Oop. Hmm. Well, it's very... shiny? I suppose. Very imposing. There's something that caught your attention, though. Stars. The patterns. The patterns? On his chest and gauntlets, you mean? It's just a weird... Lozenge? Loz lozenge. Lozenge? Lozenge? Yeah, I is think. It, is it lozenge? All right. Lozenge? Like a throat lozenge? I. Hmm? Is it? Actually, I, I'm I doubting would, myself. I would assume now. Lozenge. Lo lozenge. lozenge. But, I, I, but I'm just fucking guessing. I may be. I'm probably wrong. What's so weird about that? Those are stars. Uh, oh. Stars? What's a star? It's the a dots. type of rhombus. The dots in the sky, correct? You nod. Is that so? Oh. This article here does seem to mention his speech mannerisms. Stars and sky-related things seem to be something he comes back to often. Stars, huh? What could be interesting about them? Stars. Is there somewhere in the house where you could find out more about them? Okay, is Wasn't that the like third telescope? Yeah, is that the third floor observatory? Oops. Hey, man. Stars! Yeah. I love this, uh, like, because it's easy to forget that certain things weren't always, like, ubiquitous knowledge, right? So, the uh, like, seeing a world where it's like, oh yeah, we don't know what those dots in the sky are. Like, we don't, we, we just don't know what they actually are. Like, in this mm. day and age, it's fairly, like, ubiquitous that we know that they are, you know, giant balls of gas that oh. are from light years away. Someone says the the third floor will require you to have um, all doors not unlocked, though. Good to thank you for the heads up. Wow. Green. 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 Oh, green. Whoa. <clears throat> bow, bow. Fucking owl. Apparently there's, oh. apparently there's some more info about the king in the head house uh, head housemaiden's office as well. If that is wanted, mm. do I need it? If I don't need it to progress, I'm not gonna get it. If you guys are interested in this game, you can buy it and check out all the other stuff on your own time. Yeah, yeah I th I think there's there's enough content here that honestly it it makes sense to also, the game pick is this fucking like twenty dollars. It's it's pretty it's pretty dang cheap and reasonable. Buy the, Buy game. the game. Go see all the go see all the scenes that we're skipping. Yeah, I mean, game. honest, honestly, it's not a bad idea if you pick this up and and you can run through it with your buddies as well and show them like, look at this cool game. Yeah. You know what else you should buy? The new Molly and Giovanni figurines that are currently available. What? Where can I get them? I don't know. I sure hope somebody Fuck in chat you. who's managing this could there's, give you a link. Makeshift. There's a link in the description, actually. Oh, wow. It's makeshift. It's, the it's link in pinned, the description. It's a pinned comment. 
There you go. You smile at Isabo. Dies. I'm really going to do it this life. time. <laughs> you are stuck in a prison of your own making. Bro, I'm just traveling. Yeah. We've definitely I'm... said it before, but I hope this game just, like, blows up. It did and... better. In a, in the good way. <laughs> right, no, I should clarify. In the good way. I'm not like, oh, strap some TNT to this bitch and let her fly. <laughs> No, I, I want this game to, to become much more popular because it's it's so good. It's very good. <laughs> Dev, ugh, I hope this game explodes. <laughs> you gotta do it like that, uh, like the Undertale reviews where like, <laughs> Toby Fox has like a bunch of uh, a bunch of ten out of ten reviews, but he quoted like the least complimentary thing from every yeah. single one of them. So it's all like, eh, this isn't so great. 10 out of 10. <laughs> really funny. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. <laughs> Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. I don't know. You figure that... it out. Not... Yeah, I... Also, Dev, I, res I um, there is a like post spoilers Q and A because uh, I will tell you that like not all of the lore questions you're gonna be interested are answered in the game, and uh, the answers of like what happened is just I don't know. I made this thing. You can decide. Your turn now for all of the <laughs> answers. And I was like, God, I respect you so much. Fucking night out trigon ass answer. <laughs> This person gets it. Respect. There's, there's a fucking hilarious interview with him where it's, I, I think it's him where someone asks him something and he goes, I didn't think about that and you shouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> That's Incredible. the best answer. This is Mirabelle's room. Uh, oh, excuse yeah. me. That's that's cropped up even, like, obviously not as popular of a series or anything, but, like, for Ebon Ward that I run, there are times where people ask questions like, Chief, I don't know. It's an improv D&D &D game, and sometimes things just kind of happen. Mm. No, I'm, like, I've... Go ahead. I feel that a lot when, um, when people ask me, like, hey, does your character, like, what is your character's favorite food or character's favorite, like... X and I'm just like I don't know they hired me to play them and if I say anything I feel like you're going to like canonize it in the fandom and I'm gonna get in trouble right please yeah. but, but also anytime I play a boy character they like kissing boys that's just my head canon that's true <laughs> I also have imposed lesbianism on some of my female characters so you know yeah but one uh, of them got essentially canonized right like, yeah. <laughs> lol. Most Borderlands is, is a lesbian, seems to be, at the, well, at the very least, likes women and the rest is a mystery. Mm. Uh, mm. But because I kept fucking bringing it up and they were like, we'll write some lines that canonize your ship. I was like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Twirl's hair, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it, uh, lesbians? That okay. there's two types of world builders. The, I don't know, that doesn't really matter, you figure it out. And I have figured out and researched the 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 history of crops and in the environments right. that each of them would live in so that I could figure out what the staple diet would be in this town. And I'm just in here like, I don't know, Chief. Wait, Th that is not less yeah. valid, by the way. That is fine if you have fun with that kind of thing. Right. I am Moe's. Hooray! I am Moe's. To be fair, the, the Moe's stuff was not based on nothing. There were already lines in there that were, like, really heavily implying that she was interested in Amara. I was just like, guys, you should write more of those, and then they did. <laughs> I don't know, it'd be kind of quirky. Just, it'd be like right kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I I tell you what I really enjoy about um, just seeing different people's types of world building, especially if there is a few places where they have like the, I've researched this to, in, to insane depths, sure. is that a lot of the time you will often see like, oh, I didn't know a person could be interested in something like that. like. I guarantee there's someone out there who's done world building on like glass because oh, they are sure. really interested in glass blowing 
or something oh, like that. One of the funniest fucking things is um, the guy who made the Island of Giant Insects, which is like a hentai etchy series where kids get killed by giant insects. Mm. Uh, I say kids, they're like college age. Right. right. Um, he, he had an interview where he was like, Oh yeah, I just I made it sexy so that like people would pay attention to my manga about bugs. I just really want people to learn about bugs. I'm really interested in bugs. <laughs> <laughs> How can I make people learn about bugs? <laughs> if you go to his Twitter, it's all just really high quality photos of bugs. <laughs> Good for him. That's stars. Those are stars, right? Stars of the king's armor. Indeed. We should look around. There's a Pokemon cry there. <laughs> Looks like a child trying to write down their first word. That sure is some awful handwriting. And a determined child. I'm eating shit. Don't eat the paper. We're reading that. <laughs> you are not able to read it. Jesus. It's a star chart. A big window. Stars! But don't they only appear at night? We left early in the morning, so it should still be light outside. I've heard it's always nighttime near the king. Maybe uh, this is his influence? It was dark around the house yesterday, too, remember? Hmm. The stars. Stars like the king's armor. Stars like the king keeps mentioning. Stars like... Like me, Stardust. Ooh, no. You should remember them. Something in you tells you you should. Every time you raise your head and look at them, you feel like it's something you've done dozens, hundreds, thousands of times, but you can't remember any of it. You can't remember what you were even trying to see looking up at them. The king. Every time you face him, he asks you the same question. Do you remember? Remembering is not something you're very good at. There's so much you can't remember. You're a very forgetful person, after all. You can't remember basic items. You forget where you're going half the time. You can barely remember people's names. You've noticed you're starting to forget whole loops. You can barely remember anything that happened before you started looping in time. You can barely remember anything that happened before. 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 You breathe out and unclench your fists. What you can and can't remember doesn't matter much now, does it? The king. Does he want you to remember something? Does he... You should go and ask the king what he wants you to remember later. Seif, you okay? Lost in thought, Seifrin. You open your eyes, smile, and shake your head. You have to keep going. Okay, is that the flag I'm looking for? King time, says Dev. Cool, thank you. Not often you get to have a back pocket Dev who's telling you where to go. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's really awesome. let me tell it's so nice to not have to be like, all right, chat, tell me, tell me where I'm going, and like find one who like seems to know what they're doing just based on how smart their typing looks. It's so <laughs> nice. To just like... Some of y'all type dumb. Listen, I. You get a sense for it a little bit. Just a yeah, little no. bit. <laughs> well, let's die. Stupid. Time to die. I'm going ghost. <laughs> Time to die. I love that Ruby song. <laughs> but if you're my clone, why are you a girl? <clears throat> oh, maybe we should make out or something. No. What? <laughs> With your clown? <laughs> With my what? clown, now I'm even more interested. <laughs> no! But doctor, uh, you dreamt about the tick of a clock. You hear it still. Mm. Mm. Huh. Mm. Hey, King, don't be a dick. If you kill us, make it quick. <laughs> Oh. Let's just get right to it. 
Aw, and I had a whole speech prepared. Get ready, everyone. Wait, you traveler. Hmm? Odile looks at you with an expression screaming, does he mean you or me? You look back at the king. Right one. Do you remember? Just say yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, Fuck. it seems not. God dang it. Don't you hate the Beatles? I hate specifically John Lennon. John Lennon. Kill John I'm Lennon. I'm John Lennon. John Lennon. I know nothing about the Beatles, just that they make music that was apparently very revolutionary for the time, but is mid now. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the Beatles. Controversial take, there is such a thing as a Jimi Hendrix effect where when they become revolu they be revolutionary for the time, and then they become mid, and if you say they're the best of all time, you need to get your head out of your ass. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the Beatles music, but it is a boy band. Mm. Yeah. Ostensibly. Ooh, ooh. I will what also go I on. Remember? I won't say any. Go ahead. <laughs> stop. Stop. Whoa, stop. Whoa, whoa. Stop. Stop. Unplug I, the controller. I, I literally am. I fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. What the fuck? <sighs> what have I forgotten? Normally, if I press another button, it stops. But you can redo that chat option. Okay, great. Stop! Oh my fucking god! I I did. It's unplugged. Hmm. It's uh, stop. Stop bar? skipping. Classic C friend moment. <laughs> right, well, please remember. Oh, well, please, if you can remember that, maybe. Oh my! This is such an important scene too. I I literally can't do anything. I can't press. Nothing I'm pressing is stopping this at all. Weird. All right. Okay. Stop! <laughs> What is happening? I'm so angry. All right, fine, fine. I'll just completely unplug the controller again. Shut up. Huh. <laughs> this is so annoying. Okay, what is the B button on keyboard? Just in case. Okay. Third time is the fucking charm. Uh, I think Dev is saying to reload the game, but did you save? No. <sighs> well, Shit. let's try it. I didn't save. Because Rip. I didn't, I didn't think that my controller would lock into pressing A. Ooh. It I this is literally what it, just happening no matter what. I think this might be. Is this, this seems to be. Is a this just game a glitch? Thing. Yeah. This might just be a glitch. All right. Ooh. So maybe die, save, and reload. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm gonna die. Yeah. I'll. I have to die then. Yes, I've had it before. Ugh. Fun glitch to have when my key when my controller is already doing this separately. Damn. So I mean, this is this does seem to be an, a question you can re-ask though. So hey. Man, but Siv Sif does say something slightly different the second time you ask. I noticed. Ah. Um, but it's okay. We'll just we'll die. We'll reload. It's fine. There's just ghosts in the game. Ghost in game. That's a fair point. Um, Lily Lilypad says, save in a different slot just in case it's something to do with flags. I'm as, I'm gonna be honest. If get off the screen. If uh if I have to replay that shit, like I I'm not gonna play another thirty minutes just to get. Could you kill me first, King? <laughs> could you kill me first? I'd appreciate it. Oh. Of course, bright one. May death bring it all back. What a sweetheart. See, friend? I see. Oh, I'm so sorry. No! No, save! No, stop it, see, friend! You feel a tug on your stomach already. The king strikes. Bonk. Hey, another death scene. Uh, it might be fast forward related, so make sure not to fast forward during that king intro, intro before the battle. Mm. 
you can't afford so just, the game is twenty dollars. So you just tap through the dialogue as opposed to using the the nodding. Well, save and then maybe just reload the game. You know, regardless. There you go. Very That's you, Dev. That's you. That's you. That's you. Yes, got here on time. I have news for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a time loop, Chatter. <laughs> Wake up. Hey, gang. Did you know that YouTube shows when screams, streams are scheduled so you know when they are? I also scream my schedule. I also schedule my screams. Tappity tap. Just oh, drop we shit. tapping. Hey, uh, is anyone gonna comment on the fact that this guy's fucking huge? Oh yeah, he's he big. They he do be big. Oh, um, they mentioned that. Uh, it was some of the dialogue when I was going through the house the second time that the king probably used um, body craft to get bigger and mm. Odile mentions oh yeah body craft is kind of illegal in Kabue because yeah. why like if you can just change to be whatever you want like what are the limits and uses him as an example mm -hmm. does it matter but what else does? We shall fight, and we shall see which side the universe favors! Stephen just Fing saying whatever at this point. Fingies crossed. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I got some questions for you, King. Bitches waiting. Bitches be waiting. Hey man, can you guys all? So what should I remember? You ask again, but you know, you know, you know. Does it really matter, Seafreen? He could be trying to confuse you. Yeah, speaking in riddles to Freen. Stop trying to confuse him. He hasn't forgotten anything. You know, you know, you know. What have I forgotten? Forgotten? Oh, bright one. Right one, why? Why would you ask? Don't you know at this point what you've forgotten? Haven't you always known? Can't you see the hole it has left behind? If not what used to fill it? Don't you feel it? Its absence? What the crab is he- ALL OF IT! You've forgotten it all, Bright One! They all have! We all have! No one can say it! No one can even remember it! It escapes us! It will keep escaping us! Oh, why don't you remember? I can tell! Everything! From your accent, to the way you use craft, to the stitching on your cloak and hat, to those pins you wear! You should remember! You and I, of all people standing here, should remember! Right one, please! Please! Just remember it! Say it! Make it real! Please, if you can remember then, maybe. What is happening? Is he okay? Something we've all forgotten. I haven't forgotten anything, stupid! <laughs> See? You know, you know, you know. Where are you from? <laughs> the king looks straight at you. Where are you from? You flinch. You do not answer. You cannot answer. You hear the king laugh. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> they are. So yeah, they're from the fucking vanished island. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. And on war oh, yeah. day. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, 
Chateau games die. Floor 2 library, I think heart. Thanks, Dev. Thanks, Dev. Heart. On wall day! Yeah. Wall day! <laughs> I did it, my king. I did it, my king. I did it, my king. <laughs> my king, Cratchit is live. <laughs> <laughs> and they will destroy this miserable island! <laughs> I'm going to go to the toilet. Be obby. Right. All right. Bonked again. Why this boy bonking? Oh, he, he be bonking. We need danger soft here to help us. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, can you add danger soft to the unicorn to this game? <laughs> If the dev, so if the dev adds one thing to this game in this playthrough, I really want it to be like, I guess this game doesn't have armor slots, but I'd kill for some Jordans for OT. <laughs> <laughs> memory of Jordans. Memory of Jordans. It's just like, oh, Seafren, these are stitched the same way that the, uh, your incredible clothing is. This must be worth a fortune. <laughs> but it can Dev's only... Just, ha haha, I don't know who that is. Don't worry about it. Jordans are not canon to the ISAT universe, sorry. Oh. Oh, shoes. <laughs> Don't you remember? Just do it. Just remember. <laughs> While passing through, you take a deep breath and... Ah! Don't poke my side, Steve. <laughs> I'm ticklish. Oh, that's wonderful information to have. <laughs> you feel lightheaded. That's extremely <laughs> funny. <laughs> Oh, danger soft. Stupid. <laughs> I hope we can make Steve happy again in their portrait. <laughs> I feel so bad. I, I don't think it's gonna happen, gamers. I will say, I did I did watch the game and DM'd Lenti and I was like, be mentally prepared before the last couple sessions because you specifically are gonna have to go through it. Welcome acting back. Acting wise. Okay. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, okay. I am so glad that conversation was redoable, at least to some degree. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Luckily, this game has good quality of life. Yay! Hey! Whoa! Good game design. It's harder than you think. Uh, also, check Shut. the top it's left. It's too late. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Time to loop again! <laughs> again, was that necessary or like... Rip, wasn't mandatory. It wasn't mandatory. Just Rip another over. reason to buy the game for yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're you're about 25 seconds behind the stream, so I'm gonna, gonna have to mm. think ahead if you want me to not miss something. Yeah, delay gets longer and longer as the stream goes on on YouTube for some fuck ass reason. Right. Also, YouTube is bad Yay, and it's never YouTube. that quick, even at the best of times. Okay. Ookie, ookie. Thank you. Third bookshelf top row. Tree. Yeah, we can read this. I, I think my village was really close to it. My sister said it was all that anyone could talk about for weeks. That's so frightening. I'm glad that whatever happened, she didn't get caught up in it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Still, that country's name. What was its name again? Oh, I think it was something like... Don't say it! Grab! <laughs> The name of this country. You try to remember. 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 Only silence answers you. Is this what the king wanted you to remember? Just remember it? Say it? Make it real? You can't say it. You don't even want to try, but... You turn to Isabeau. But can you try and say it anyway? <laughs> but why? It's just gonna give me a headache. Isabel looks at you. 
Something about your expression makes him reconsider. Well, sure, Steve. I'll say it. That country's name was... It was... Uh... You know, I had it before, but now that I'm actually trying to remember it, nothing comes to mind? Huh. Is that so? You're so dumb, Z. I know it. It's... Huh? But... Wait. Huh, what's... Can't remember it either, yeah? When you asked me, answering you felt automatic, like if you asked me what I what one plus one makes, but oh. trying to remember it now is more like This is one of my favorite exchanges in the whole game. Like calculating seventy-two times eighty-nine. No, that's sixty four hundred and eight. I have a brain and I know how to use it. What? <laughs> is a <it> boat? <laughs> no, it felt more like asking me to remember my first steps. How can I remember that? I can't remember that. How can you expect me to remember that? What a terrible analogy. But I can't seem to remember it either. When we were talking about it, I could think it clearly, but trying to remember it now, let alone say it. I can't remember the country itself either. I just remember it was an island north of Vogard, and... And it had a different belief than the change belief, didn't it? Something about the sky? The universe. That's right, the universe! Oh yeah, like stars and stuff. We also know that people could remember that country clearly before. And... Ugh, my head is killing me. And we know that trying to remember stuff makes our brains hurt. Let's stop here. It'd be bad to fight the king with a raging migraine. Yeah, sorry we couldn't say it, Seif. You don't respond. Hmm? Stars. So the king is from that country as well. The country no one can remember. Your country. The country you were born in, raised in, spent your entire childhood in, and yet, even now thinking about it, what it may have looked like, you can't even imagine it. For a long time now, you haven't been able to remember anything about it. You forget it even exists half the time. Anything linked to that country has just stopped existing for you. Your childhood, your parents, your life, your language, your culture, your faith, the stars, the constellations, the universe. It's all gone. Forgotten. The king. He was from there. You're sure of it. And then something happened, and the country disappeared without a trace, unable to be remembered by anyone. No one can remember what made everyone forget about its very existence. But something must have, right? But if it happened... If he's so attached to it, he asks you to remember it every single time you see him. If he's so attached to that country, why would he be so obsessed with Vogard then? Why would he decide to freeze it all in time? You can't figure it out quite yet, but there must be something somewhere. Something that's similar to his goal. Games mirror time, floor three. Oh, no, games is part of your username. <laughs> mirror time, floor three. <laughs> Wahee! You think about the incident. Oh. Walde. <laughs> what is Walde? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, I love referencing hit video game unicorn tales. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I was here when you explained Wall Day once. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's a very similar story beat of a whole country disappears. Should I unlock it or no? Since it can matter. Also, yeah, the coin is Act 4. I know how to activate that. With doors open. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Dev. Wait, no. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say, isn't the mirror the first step? Wait, no, doors closed, sawi. <laughs> Dev, you'll guide us, right? Right? Do you plow me? If nobody, <laughs> if nobody got us, I know that Dev got us. Wait, no, wait, wait. <laughs> Jump off this bridge if you say so. Dabs cutely. <laughs> hey, Isabel, round. <laughs> I promise, three hearts. 
three hearts, I believe that. You wake up, that one was dumb. <laughs> At the end of the day, you're still just a chat member. <laughs> That's some Metal Gear no! bullshit. So, so, Dev, I assume that every time we're doing these loops, the like ability to loop back to different floors... That's just for, like, the player's perspective, right? Seaford has to do the entire loop over and over again every single time, right? The universe backseated wrong. I was interpreting it as he literally just, like, plops down. Oh, he can loop wherever? Great. Okay. Yeah. You God and bless. your family members are reflected in the mirror. Aww. That's a big mirror. Massive, even. And there's not really anything else of interest in this room. I don't know anything about it. Before the house shifted around because of the king, it was in a part of the house I didn't often walk by. Hmm. Isabo was looking for the switch. If it is what I think it is, then it should be. Aha! <laughs> Everyone, save from us! From that! You've been killed. <laughs> <laughs> Flashbang. W what was that? Oh, look, something's on the ground. Piece of paper? <laughs> from the paper ass family. Behold! This is a piece of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's a picture of all of you. This is lovely. Isn't it? It's a crafted mirror that takes pictures. I heard rumors someone was creating one, but I didn't know that someone lived in Dormont's house. We look so surprised. <laughs> Only Isabo knew this was coming. Pictures are so rare. It's nice to have one of us. I'm Mirabelle. Thank you for telling us about it and taking a picture, Isabo. Oh! <laughs> it's nothing. What should we do with it? Odile looks at you. Would you keep it safe? Oh, one with all the secret pockets. You nod. You got the mirror picture. You're glad to have the picture back. It's proof. Proof that you're here on this journey. Proof that you were here with your family members. Proof that you love them. Oh. Even if you forget, and you forget a lot, it's proof that you and your friends existed. Proof that you were happy. Proof that this moment happened perfectly frozen in time. Hmm. After the country was forgotten, the king was welcomed by Vogard, wasn't he? Welcomed and helped and loved. To the point where he sees Vogard as perfect. But no one knows why the country was forgotten. What's keeping Vogard from being forgotten the exact same way? Wasn't it his duty, as thanks for welcoming him, to make sure such a fate would never fall, befall Vogard? What else could he do but make sure this perfect country was preserved in amber forever? How could he ever let go? You understand the king more than you'd like to, but, but still, he's... You want to talk to him again? Oh boy. See, uh, buddy, gamer. I'm mentally <laughs> ill. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it'll go just fine, heart. I promise. I promise. They have never led us astray. I believe them. <laughs> I believe them implicitly. Oh, it didn't work. Dowie dies. Oh, it didn't work. Maybe we could try. Sif! <laughs> <laughs> I love chat getting all smiley and smug because they know what's gonna happen. Because they they don't. Also, <laughs> like they keep yeah. they they keep straight up misremembering which part is coming up next. They're wrong. <laughs> you, you standing up to the banana? Oh, I remember this part. <laughs> Chad, should I interact with this up. banana? Smiley face. <laughs> this part's sad. It slips on banana. Fucks me up every time. That <laughs> 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 really got you. Really yeah, no, I, just, just the, I just imagine the image of somebody who gets genuinely really sad at people slipping on banana <laughs> peels. <laughs> A clown killed my grandma, okay? A clown yeah, killed my grandma, okay? Yeah, do not. I, I started fast forward and thing was like, hey, wait, wait, hang on. Oh, is this real? Um, no, 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 we I'm just, oh. just to prevent the glitch. Got it. No, Will was just picking up an apple and examining it. <laughs> is this real? <laughs> is this real? 
Is this real? Whoa. Can you picture this in your head? <laughs> Imagine. Can How you, do you picture this in your head? Clean <laughs> recently. Have you ever have you ever been a waiter? <laughs> you remember the tallest man you've ever seen? You ever written your name in the sand? Have you ever lived in a place? <laughs> ridden a bike recently? Seen an eternal king trapped in time? Has anyone Bullshit. noticed? Not real. Anyone noticed theme restaurants becoming more and more popular? <laughs> just like you have the list of questions you can ask the king, and you're just like, see if there are any good movies doing? lately. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Dev mentions. Uh, yeah, I see. Where, where did... Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Nope, it's not true. We made it up. Not this time. No way. False. <laughs> it didn't happen. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's this one, bullshit. <laughs> this one, total lie. Where are you from? Will he say it if you ask? Can he say it? Someone asked you this exact question before and you couldn't answer. You couldn't say anything. You forgot it all, but... But... Where... Where I'm from... Oh, bright one. If you're asking with such a look in your eye, do you remember then? Can you see it? Can you picture it? Bright one. Bright one, please, you can't. You have to remember. I know you can. We both can. We're the only ones present here who can. What? Seifrin, what is he talking about? Seif? Seif, are you okay? Bright one. No. You're trying, I can tell. But the knowledge keeps escaping you, doesn't it? Slipping through your fingers. It is the same for me. But we have to try to remember, Bright One. I see flashes of it. Of what was. The mountains. The sea. The lightless sand. Dark like the sand. Dark like the night sky. Our country, Bright One. Our country. Our home. We have to say it! We cannot let Oblivion win! Our home! We can rebuild it together! You pat your power and mine. We just have to wish for it. We just have to ask! We just have to say its name! That's the laws. Uh oh. <gasps> Color! What the fu- Uh-oh. Steve! <laughs> Steve! Oh. No. No, no. No, no, no. You heard it. He said it. He tried to say it. Your country's name. Your home. Your- No. No, it's gone. It's gone. Did he say it? All of it? Did he say it? You couldn't hear it. Can't remember it. Can't. What's happening? The king is attacking Seafren. Everyone protect him. Stop talking, king. Leave, leave Fren alone. Seaf. Your head, it feels like it's splitting in two. Your country, your home. You can't remember it. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Gone from your past, gone from your mind, gone from the very planet you stand on and it was yours. It was yours. It was yours and it's gone and you can't even say its name. But if he, if the king could, then maybe, maybe. Oh. Say it, you have to say it. If he couldn't do it, maybe you can. Maybe you both can. Right one, please, please. You inhale, you try to grasp it, grasps its name. Ooh. Uh, no! Your throat, your head, it hurts, it hurts. You spit blood, you hack up, you have to get it out. Right one, I almost heard it, I... Please, again, once again we have to try, together! Your entire body hurts, say it, your head is killing you, but you have to try, you have to... We have to stop the king! 
Seafren, whatever he's telling you to say, stop! Fren! Seafren! You have to. You have to. What do they know anyway? What do they understand anyway? The pain of not remembering your own blinding country. Your own home. The king is right. You have to get it back. You have to get it back. You inhale. Someone is screaming. You realize it's your own voice. Your throat feels raw. Your head feels like it's splitting in two. Your stomach feels like a black hole. The scent of sugar is all around you. So thick, you almost gag on it. You can't hold on to anything anymore. You. But it's all gone. Oh, uh oh. Loop 44. Yeah, wait, <sighs> we, we jumped it far ahead. <sighs> You cough, cough, cough. You cough until you can't breathe or move anymore. Your throat hurts. You couldn't say it. You couldn't say it. What was the point anyway? What was the point of saying its name? What was the king thinking? It's gone. Your home is gone and has been for a long time. There's nothing you can do to bring it back. Doesn't the king see that? Doesn't he see that you have to let it go? You start laughing. Will you ever take your own advice? <laughs> you need to go and talk to the king. One last time. Another one. Another one. Uh, Dev says uh, 10 out of 10 reading. Thanks. Also, Zephyr, uh, you look like shit. <laughs> also, thank you for the $50 chat, which is happening in the middle of all of that. Hey, gang, Whoa. just wanted to say thank you so much for all these streams. They really helped me through a really tough couple of months at college. Aloha. Oh. Here's 50 burns. Aww. Aww. Thank you. No talking also, mm, I live for these fucking seeds, dude. <laughs> yeah. Lenti, your readings of these moments are like making these so intense. I'm just like, yes. <laughs> oh, thanks. Ask her about. Ooh. ooh. Funny. Oh, a deal. So like Godil's Japanese, yeah. She says it's a sister. Which country did your sister move to? She's a few years younger than me. A few years ago, she decided to travel the world all on her own. She lives in another country now. Isn't that so brave? Living in a foreign country just like that. But which country? Oh, sorry. Uh, my sister now lives in. She lives in my sister. My sister. She's my younger sister. She's weird. She's brave. She she likes to sing, and I I can't remember her name. My sister. What sister? I'm an only child, you know. <laughs> What? Oh, don't like that! I wonder if... You know how, like, some people can taste, like, cilantro differently? Like, you've got mm. that, it tastes like soap jeans. So many people, like, see a piece of media like this, and then they get, like, surprised its tone gets like this. And I mm. feel like... I don't think that's happened to me in... 
how old am I? 28 years. <laughs> Cause I, and I, I'm not saying it's like, oh, you're not surprising me. I, there's just, there's just clues. Like immediate, like, I remember like Will and I watched the first, like we watched the fucking first scene of Promise Neverland. And I was like, isn't it crazy that like, I've seen people be like, wait, this is a dark show. And it's like, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Like the, the, you, you can just watch an anime open and be like, oh, this one's gonna have some shit in it, TM. And like, <laughs> I don't know. There's just a flavor. There's just an ambient flavor. Six, 46, huh? There's just an ambient Whoa. flavor uh, that's there and it's everywhere. I'm sorry, I really love what a delicious death. <laughs> That's good huh? shit. I, I also uh, would go even so far as to say, like, sometimes even the premise can give it away. Right. Yeah. Because, like, this is, this is not, again, not to say, like, oh, it's predictable or something like that, right? By the way, yeah. nothing wrong with something being predictable, predictable can I just say? Yeah. Um, but, like, this is, this game starts off with, you're about to do the final boss fight in an RPG, right? And it's just like, okay, this is a subversion somehow. Obviously. Right. <laughs> I will say, though, as much as this game definitely already had the tone of, like, something's, it's gonna be a little fucked up, TM, wink, wink. It is a little bit further than I expected it to be. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think that's a reasonable thing to be like, oh, okay. I, I look into the middle distance. Yeah. We can't all be built different like you, Jello. That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I meant that this, this writing there are a rapid succession of scenes at the nadir of this game's emotionality, all of which physically hurt me. They were written so well to have just the worst interaction possible. And I was like, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. Ha <laughs> <The whole> ha, <time. laughs> <laughs> 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 ouchie. All of this and you're just laughing? They worked on this game for so long. Yeah, now they get to laugh at people reacting to it. That's the oh, point. Yeah. Isn't That's that the, the reason part. you write something like this? Yeah. Let's stop fighting. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Seafren? What are you? You don't need to fight anymore, do you? You understand what the king wants. How he feels. If only you could make him understand. We don't have to fight. We're looking for the same thing. I know. I understand why you're doing this, but this isn't the way to do it. We can protect this country another way. You don't need to freeze it forever. Do you really want it all to end? Let's just stop fighting. Leave this country be. We don't need to keep holding on to it. Let's just let it go. We have to let it go, King. Perhaps you are right, right one. Huh? What? Let us stop this battle. Let us talk to one another. As people from the same country. The king has stopped fighting you. You lower your dagger. Seafren. Is... is this it? You're gonna stop just like that? Boniface. You destroyed my home! Froze my sister, froze all of Vogard in time, and you'll just stop just like that? Oh, oh, I will. I have fought for long enough, and... I'm starting to realize that even if I did win, my victory would be short-lived. Because you'd be frozen in time yourself, maybe? Stupid? Perhaps. But if someone from my own country is the one asking, then shouldn't I listen? <laughs> After all, only a fellow compatriot would understand my pain. You said you and Seafren are from the same country? We... 
we don't know where Freen is from, so... What happened? The king cries out. <laughs> but that's the problem, isn't it? That's what we'd like to know as well, isn't it? If I mention it, you might be able to remember it, but for a brief second, the fate of the island north of Vogard. An island north of Vogard? Is it perhaps the one we can't say the name of? The one no one can remember anything about. The fairy one. That's where you're both from? So then what happened? The king sobs. I suppose your story might be similar to mine, Bright One. One day, I just woke up on a beach on a coast north of Vogard. I woke up slowly, as people sometimes do, expect expecting to remember where I was, what I was supposed to be doing that day. But nothing came to mind. And as I realized nothing came to mind, I also realized I could not remember a single thing. What I was doing here on this beach, what chores I had to do on that day, how I got here, why I didn't recognize my surroundings, my past, my family, my name, the language I spoke, the alphabet I wrote with, the stars, the country's inhabitants, culture, beliefs, its very name! I could remember not I could not remember anything! Because all my memories, everything, even slightly connected to the country I came from, just cannot be accessed easily anymore. And it makes sense, doesn't it? No one on this planet can remember our home as it was. Most people from outside it who had limited ties to it only forgot the country's existence. Maybe forgot a friend from there, or a distant family member. You gain back up a little, Will. I will... Bleh. But for someone who had ties to it, who was born there, lived in it, breathed it day and night, there would be nothing to remember. There would just be... emptiness. I was cut off from my very existence, my entire past, my entire identity... erased. Memories make up the core of who we are, don't they? The proof that we existed. That we are real. Can you be certain of anything if you do not remember how you learned it? And if you do not remember your past, if you only know it has been erased from your memory because something happened to your home. And if something happened, but no one remembers what or why, then... then what's stopping it from happening again? What if we forget it all? What if we lose it all once more? The king sobs. And you had to make sure it wouldn't happen again. At any cost necessary. And if the universe led you on this path... Then it must be what the universe wants. The universe... Leads. We can only... Follow. <laughs> oh. oh, even if you don't agree with my methods, Bright One, I can tell you understand. No matter what, I could not let this happen again. I could not! Not to Vogard! Not to Vogardians who housed me, cared for me, loved me! I do not want to forget it all! Not again! I will keep the things I love close to me! I will make sure they can keep existing! So they can be remembered forever! That is what I thought this whole time. This whole time. But... <sighs> I can see that I was mistaken. You're right, Bright One. We can find another way to protect the people we love. So, please, while I still can, let me change my mind. Let me help you. 
exchange. Mirabelle. Madam, if he truly means it, shouldn't we try? Or are we deciding he cannot change? I can't believe that. I want to believe that even the worst person can change. Hmm. Odile. Please. We have to try. I'm with Mira and Seth. Fine. Okay. I'll follow you, Freen, but... I don't know, I... I'll trust you all. I can't... I can't do anything anyway. You breathe out. If you can end this loop without fighting, if you and the King can come to an understanding... <laughs> then, right one. Seafren, won't you stand next to me? Huh? I can bring everyone back. Make sure they all move again. We can save this country, together. But I cannot break the curse on my own. Creating the curse was easy, but unraveling it asks for more power than I possess. But with the help of someone else, someone who truly wishes for the curse to be lifted. Is that how it works? It does, if someone wants it enough. Seafrin, should I do it? Go to the king's side. If all that's needed for the curse to break is your help, you're the one who made the king change his mind. The least you can do is help. You start to walk over to the king. <laughs> oh, bright one. Not that bright after all. <laughs> no, 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 why? The king froze your bodies in time. You can think and move your head still so it's not over, but you can't move. No, no! King, you! I, I can't move. Why can't I move? Bright one. Seafren, is this really all I needed to do? To make you trust me. I just needed to listen to your empty words. To tell you how sad I am. To make you think I was pathetic. To be pitied. You should have told me sooner. Killing you like this is easier than fighting. <laughs> what? No! Everyone! What was it you wanted me to do? Let go of my goal. Let go of my wish. Let go of the wish that kept me going all those years? I will never let it go! Vogard! Our country! I will make sure they are kept perfect forever! Because... <sighs> I can tell, Seafren. This isn't how it should be. <laughs> I saw it all, you know. I saw the signs. The way you came into and in, came into my face. <laughs> Wait, uh. the way you came, yeah. Like came into face me. You came into my bad. <laughs> like you knew exactly what you were about to fight. The way your companions all flinched hearing my voice, but not you. The way you knew about my home. The way you can keep it at the forefront of your mind. Like you've practiced as I have. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can tell. I can tell, Seafren. I should have won! I should have won long ago! But something went wrong, didn't it? Victory keeps escaping my grasp! Seafren. It's you, isn't it? The one who's keeping me from winning. How many times? 
Have you kept me from victory, Seifrin? You can't breathe. What is he talking about? What? <laughs> I can tell. I can feel it. This scent. This overpowering, sweet scent. I can taste the power of wishcraft on you. Huh? Wishcraft? I can tell, Seifrin. It's you! You're the one keeping me from total victory! You're the one keeping me from perfect ending! Ah, oh, if only... If only you weren't here! But... A quick death would be too easy for you. You just come back anyway, won't you? So, I just need to make sure that today you learn your lesson. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, dude. No. Oh. <sighs> The king grabbed onto Bonnie. Bonnie! No! Curse you, king! Let him go! <sighs> Bright one. Seifrin. Look at me. You need to learn to not cross me again. I will kill this child. And your housemaiden. And your fighter. And your researcher. I will kill them all, one after the other. I will kill them all now, and make sure you remember. I will force you to watch, so you will learn. Friend! Ah! The king is tightening his grip. Bonnie! No! Please, no! Come on, stupid body! Move! Body fast! No, 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 no! Bon Bon! None of you can move! Your whole body hurts. You can't move, but you have to do something. Save Bonnie! You need to find a way to loop back somehow. You need to die. A tear. Anything! Just loop back! Help me! I'm scared! Just let him go, please! Not Bonnie. Your stomach feels like it's caving in on itself. Curse you, King! Curse you and your whole country! Curse you and everything you stand for! You taste sugar on your tongue. Buddy! <laughs> you have to loop back. Loop back, loop back, loop back, you loop back, loop back, loop back, loop back, loop back! Friend! When you come back, Bright One, remember this. Loop back! <laughs> go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Stars. No, 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 no. You clutch your chest. Try to catch your breath and forget. It's fine. You loop back. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's it, they're fine. Bonnie is fine. Looping resets everything. Everything that that just happened has been erased. Everything is back to normal. Bonnie is back to normal. Just go and see them. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. You're fine. A whimper escapes you. No. You're okay. Bonnie is okay. Everyone is okay. They have to be okay. Just breathe. 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 Bonnie. Bonnie is okay. 
You're okay. <laughs> See, because of the way loops work, they, they won't remember anything. They're not hurt. Everything is back to normal. There's no reason the loops would work differently this time. Just breathe and stand up and make sure. Get back to the stage. Follow the script. You have to make sure Bonnie is okay. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. you're... Oh, change. You look... You look really, really tired. I thought you were taking a nap. Did you not sleep well? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, lovey. <laughs> and for the other super chat. <laughs> you have to kill Buddy to break the loop. Yeah, we made that jerk. Don't make jokes. I was going to tell you something, but forget about it. Uh, go, go on and do whatever you need to today. Sure. Do you know if Bonnie is okay? Bonnie? Why wouldn't they be? Oh, okay. I saw them near the fields earlier, to the east. Were you expecting Bonnie? Yeah! Who's Bonnie? Bon That's what I- that's just the- <gasps> Dude, if who's Bonnie happened, I think I would have like literally just fucking collapsed off my chair. <laughs> to the east if you'd like to talk to them? You uh, nod. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Make sure to rest up and we'll meet for dinner at the clock tower later. You nod again. Habit takes over and you tell her about the carrot method. Wait, how did you know about- And wink. Okay. I love someone in chat. You see Bonnie, they're in a full body cast. Hey, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Loop. No, I need to see if Bonnie's okay. Yeah, that's fair. I, I just wanted to show off that you literally don't have a choice. Oh, cool. <laughs> <sighs> Bonnie is here, alive and whole. Bon Bon. Huh? What did you... Bonnie. How are you? Oh, that pause. I'm okay. Good. And how are you? You look bummed out. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong at all. <laughs> people people always praise you for the um the like high energy scenes. You really nail the yeah voicing the pauses that that Dev put in and stuff. <laughs> okay, well, um, what do you want? Nothing. You have to go and see Lou. That nothing was fucking something. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are flattering me. Uh, Dev asked, "Do you want a funny RNG?" Event oh. heart emoji? Yeah. Please. Sure. Also, thank you for the super chat. Yes. Do indeed oh. buy the game. Buy the game. Oh. Is it to look at the coin? <laughs> Dev, no. Talk to Bonnie and then say bye and talk to Bunny, Bonnie and say bye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> In, uh, as in, I think just keep just do that a couple of times. Did I did I already leave? Did I need to not leave the first room? Uh. Oh, you oh, got you... to have to loop first. Oh, okay. oh. Loop, then do the Bonnie <clears throat> by Bonnie by. <laughs> they, Sorry, they... I saw gore. <laughs> To be fair, this is like a big game with lots of events and flags and whatnot. Yeah, I don't so. blame you for forgetting a few things. I'm Izubo. Talk to Izubo first. Izubo, I'm get Izubo. The fuck out of here. See? Whoa, what's wrong? I need to do the favor tree thing. Oh, do you need me to leave? Sure, but let's talk later, okay? Hey! Stop. Just say I told you so and we can move on. I told you so! <laughs> what a stupid idea you had. Thinking the king could be turned good. He's the king! 
He's probably the reason you're here, or related to it at least. And all you had to do was find and all you had to do was find out he shares your tragic backstory for you to feel pity for him. And he didn't have to lift a finger. And because of you, Bonnie was Anyway, I told you so. But what he said back then. He mentioned something. Something about wishcraft? He did. What's wishcraft? I... I don't know. Wishcraft... Crafting wishes? That sounds impossible and way too convenient. But he seemed to imply you were using it. That's what it felt like to me. I've never heard of wishcraft before. Me neither. I wouldn't even know where to find information about it, but... That is new information, so as stupid as the whole making friends with the king was, you did find something new. Was it worth it? Every time you close your eyes, you still see a hand tightening. I'm also wondering the way you looped last time, wasn't it? Whatever. It's not like your kid will remember whatever just happened anyway. Just put it behind you. And this whole, uh, and this whole thing gave you something else, didn't it? Another memory to equip. Oh, you didn't even notice. You'll always remember this, after all. Let me do the usual. You got a memory of memories. When equipped, memory of memories allows you to read books you couldn't before. The uh, ones written oh. in that language that just gives you a headache. The ones from your country. Oh, how useful and neat to be able to read your own blinding language. You might as well read any books you find before you forget again, like you do everything else. And if you can read that language, maybe you can explore the house a bit more. Don't despair, Stardust. There's still a path to follow. In the meantime, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Sure. What do you want to talk about? You have nothing to talk about, so you stay quiet. You know, Stardust, you're like really quiet, aren't you? I knew you were quiet, but I didn't realize you were that quiet. I really have to carry our conversations most of the time. Too bad. But I don't mind if you stay silent for a bit too, you know. <laughs> all right. Would you rather I don't say anything rather than talk all the time? Don't you want some quiet? Huh? What? No. I like to listen to people talk. I don't mind if you talk a lot. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? It is just nice to hear people talk. Like on a stream or something, Stardust. <laughs> like and subscribe. I know you've been through a lot. But it's September, and if you could subscribe to my Twitch channel, Stardust, it would mean the world to me. <laughs> you would get a bunch of cool dog emotes that are on my channel. And, you know, if you support me, it means we can do a lot more fun things on the channel, like loops and loops. Are we in Act 4 yet? I feel like we gotta be, right? Hmm? You flip the coin in the air a few times. You think about the incident. You think about the incident. Uh, Dev says, Act 4 indeed, coin time. You think about <clears throat> the incident. I thought you had to... Uh... Oh, coin in front of loop. I thought you did something first before the loop one. Hi! Are you calling your party family members now? You know this sounds really awkward, right? You're awkward. Oh, you're cringe! <laughs> you're cringe! Oh, somehow this one seems to have hit home. Coin until, yeah. No, it is until something oh, happens. It's RNG. Man. Anyway, how can I help you on this? Oh, you're leaving. Okay. Great. Wow, bitch. I just came here to call you cringe. Goodbye. Am I cringe? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just like I... falls their hands and knees. 
I'm I'm legitimately gonna make a note to redraw the your cringe comic with them. <laughs> You grip the coin tightly between your fingers. Go, coin, go. Let's go talk to Bonnie for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Looks at their dogs. Is that your fursona? Cringe. Cringe. <laughs> Bonnie is here, looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie? Hey, friend. What do you want? Stay silent. Why aren't you saying anything? Why do you look so tired? Did you not take a nap like you said you would? Did I say that? Yeah. Like two hours ago, you said you'd go and take a nap and to come get you if we needed something. Did you not nap? I did. Oh. Then... Did you have a nightmare? I guess so. How can you guess you got a nightmare? Either you had a nightmare or you didn't. And I guess I didn't. Then why do you look like how my sister did when I woke her up in the middle of the night to play a board game? I'm just hungry. It's not a lie this time. <laughs> hey chat, they did not get the event and you do not need to do it in front of Loop until it happens. Source, I'm deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Oh? Oh, you're just hungry! Here, here, I have some peanuts. Bonnie gives you a massive amount of peanuts. You eat oh. them all. You feel just as hungry as before. Did I help? Yeah, thanks, Bonnie. Hmm. Hmm. See you at the clock tower. I'm on the edge of my seat, dude. Hey, fuck off. Uh, is this the high buy high bit with uh, with them? I was trying. I didn't oh. see the option to say buy specifically, so. <laughs> well, Dev was wrong twice. To be fair, how many times was chat wrong? You guys, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't bite back. She'll destroy you. <laughs> Die. Come on, RNG. Get me that shiny coin. Just general quit, not a buy. Okay, they, so they were referring to nothing as the as the option. It's probably also RNG. Do I need? There isn't a flag where I. Need, there we go. You rem oh. Before you became stuck in time, you passed through a little town for supplies. Everyone had things to do, but you were so stupidly hungry you could barely think. So you stopped at a boulangerie nearby. The boulanger was an old man, but strong. Looked like he woke up smiling every day. Even then, with the threat of the king looming over everyone. Wordlessly, you pointed at a croissant, showing some coins. Silently smiling, he got you your pastry, took your money, gave you one silver piece of money back. You both said thank you at the same time. And you both froze. Apart from Issa and Mira, who have the same accent, you all have very different ways of speaking the same language. Makes sense, as you all come from different places. Through your travels, you met a lot of people with Mira and Issa's Vogardian accent, a few with Bonnie's coastal accent, and even fewer with Odile's Cabuan accent. But your accent stayed unique, foreign. The Boulanger's accent was the same as yours. Without breaking eye contact, the old man grabbed your arm. His eyes were stunned, fearful, hopeful, and he said, Young one, where are you from? And you couldn't answer. There was no way you could answer. How could you answer? Did he know? Did he remember? Could he answer? Was he asking you? Taunting you? Could he remember the lights still? The shapes they cut in the darkness, their stories? Did they beat in his chest still? Were they still warming up his heart? Could he speak them and everything into existence? Could he say it? Let the words out. Did he remember? Did he remember? Did he remember? Did he remember? You left the boulangerie running. 
You could see the night sky dotted with lights, but your chest was empty. When you ran back, you thought about how you'll always forget about the things you love. It's an immutable fact. But you don't want to forget about your family members ever. 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 No matter what, you'd make sure that you would always remember. You ate the croissant when you got back to everyone else. It didn't taste like anything. Da, 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 da. You look at the coin. You can get so fixated sometimes. You don't need to swear off croissants because of what happened. You don't need to keep that coin to remember what happened. You don't need to keep that coin to remember them. Those rituals won't accomplish anything. You don't want to hear this right now. How could you understand how I feel? <laughs> You're right. I can't understand you. After all, I don't know what it's like to feel your home slip out from under you. To feel cut off from everything. To want to remember it all no matter what. How could I? Look at me, Stardust. Look at my face. Do you really think I'm supposed to be here? Do you really think I can't understand what it's like to not have a home I can go back to? See reflections of it everywhere I look, but without the connection that comes with it? Do you really think I don't understand wanting to remember everything I have left behind? I'm a star, but do you really think it warms me up? My chest isn't empty still. And even now, I'm alone. No one can understand what I'm going through. And the only person that could is... Is... Nope! That's it! That's all you get! <laughs> Bitch. You feel like you understand Loop a lot better now. <laughs> Dev. All right, chat. We did the coin thing. We did it. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Bonnie yeah. thing. I'll try it. Yeah. Probably See if everybody has a Canadian accent. <laughs> the choice Boy, to make a, di remember. a distant country with black star sand Canadian is such. A, it's such a lenty <laughs> move. <on this. laughs> Where's this man from? Um, it's not specified. He's Irish. What? Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Hey, friend. Whoa, what's wrong? You catch your breath. Hey, Bonnie. Oh. Uh. Well, what do you want? Nothing. Hmm. See you at the clock tower. That fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, so no one no one ever needs to play Yumi Nikki again because there's a much better game you could play. I'm just throwing that out. <laughs> no one on earth needs to play a Yumi Nikki game again. Or any. <laughs> okay. If you want to keep going, floor three, gate with a star on it. Can that one be unlocked doors? Mm -hmm. I feel like I can do two more flags. Whoop. Okay. What's oh, wrong with Yumi Nikki? What's right with Yumi Nikki? You broke your head open on a rock. Oh my god. Christ. It's All right, very so, vivid. So the last loop we were on was on 46. So. Oh no! What was that? What number was that? 52. Oh. 50. 50 loops, the big 5 0. You know, it's like a Hawaii 5 0. Yeah! You could do some math to figure out how many days, weeks, months you've been stuck here. You don't always spend very long in a single loop, but sometimes you do spend more than 24 hours in here, in here. So doing the math would be easy enough, but you won't because you're smart. You can guess what it would do in your brain. <laughs> Back to it. Yeah, honestly. I believe that, what is it? 
It's 52 weeks in a year, right? Correct. So Seafren's uh, been here for 70 years. No. <laughs> 12 we, years ago. If we assume an average of like, I think it would be safe to say something like six hours per loop on average if some of them are over 24, but a lot of them are under like a couple of hours. So yeah. like six, something like that. 52 times... 52 times 6 is... Am I counting Amori? No, I didn't say RPG Maker games. I said Yumi Nikki. So Dot Flow, Yumi Nikki, uh, Yumi Tuki, all the games that are just the same fucking game. Any game that's just walking around empty fucking rooms waiting for RNG to happen for a mite of something to get interested in. Just no one ever needs to consume that again. It's a waste of time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something written above the lock, too. The Omori is also like third, like like thirteen percent Yumi Nikki, and those parts all suck. So maybe you should take a closer look. Try to read what's written. You can read it now. It's asking a question. You answer it aloud. The door unlocks. Huh? What did you say, Seif? I couldn't hear it either. Did you say something? You open the door. Oh boy! Also, it's a bathroom. Uh, to, to finish <laughs> to finish the thought, um, it was uh, 13, 13 instances of twenty four hours, so thirteen full days. If we assume that experientially, that that's more like double, because we yeah. only experience twelve hours at a time. In theory, I don't know how much water this holds. Something like a month of time experientially has passed. Ugh. Ugh. Dev says, Yumi Nikki was interesting, but my god, was the RNG the worst. Listen, when I took a, I took film classes in college, and they showed us the movie that invented the Dutch angle, and it was an awful French art film about a guy who was unfaithful to his wife, because that's what they're all about, because they're all made about guys who want to cheat on their wives and fuck some young pretty thing. It's like 90% of art films. And the whole, the movie was awful. And there was like one, that's a French movie, yeah, see? <laughs> Source is French. The, <laughs> and like watching that movie, which took like an, it wasn't like a, like a modern full length movie. It was like maybe 40 something minutes, maybe like a little over an hour. I don't remember, it's been like a decade, but it was awful. And the scene that we needed to see to get that context of like, here's the first time someone did this. It took like, it was like one minute of the movie. So really no one needs to watch that movie. It's the same as what, like reading a textbook and being like, here's where it was introduced. And then having a YouTube video that's like the first time this happened and going, oh neat, interesting stepping stone for media. I'm glad other things got to take that tool and use it in the future. And like, that's what Yumi Nikki is. It's just someone did it and it's good that it existed and it can stay in the past. Yo, do you know what this sounds like? This sounds like my issue with Jimi Hendrix and Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes. It's... What is this? It has oh, a lot so of sorry. balls attached to it. And there's a lever here. If we turn it, it seems the balls will move around in this big metal ball. Oh, it looks like I have a... Oh, unsurprisingly, when I mentioned Star Wars, there's people in chat. Star Wars is great. It Savvy, I'm exactly... sorry we can't. I, I don't have time. You have to just go. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Does minute. it... Um, <clears throat> does it represent something? It looks familiar somehow. Yes, I feel like I've seen something like this somewhere before. It's called an Ori. Ori? An Ori? Ori? It's a machine to calculate the positions of astro uh, astronomical objects. Astro what? Like stars and planets and stuff. Who would need to calculate this? <laughs> For once, Sifrin hasn't forgotten about something, but we all have. Dots. Mm. Star charts. Tune into one of my streams for the Star Wars talk. <laughs> there you go. Star charts. Bookcase. All the books are old. They're probably disintegrating a single touch. A journal with a star on its cover. It looks very old. Feels like it'd break apart in one touch. I want to read it so bad. <laughs> Please, let's stop wasting time and reading every book we come across. But if the book has a star on it, it must be important, right? You get closer to the book. 
Ah, <sighs> fine. Let's do it! Be careful handling it, though. Mirabelle carefully takes the book in her hands and flips through the pages. Hmm. It's a little long. Seems like it's the diary of a very sad person. Why sad? What happened to them? They don't actually say. It just feels like they lived through some hard times, and everyone around them seems to brush their worries aside. Everyone is acting as if everything's fine when this person continues to suffer. Bummer. More like boring. Read a passage. Uh, sure. Well, no one can understand what I've been through. Not my friends, not my family, no one. If no one can understand me, if I'm doomed to truly never be seen by another, if I'm the only one who can understand what I've gone through, then couldn't I just create another self? Another me? Someone I could talk to who could understand? Huh? Oh, interesting. Now we're getting somewhere. Talking to another self to come to terms with what they've gone through. But in the end, they'd still be alone, right? Sometimes you just need a voice that answers back, Bon Bon. Hmm. It would just be an echo chamber, though. You'd never get to any good conclusion talking to yourself endlessly. I suppose they felt so alone they saw no, no other recourse, however. But tell me, Mirabelle. Do they get a rude wake-up call as they realize creating over self is absolutely impossible? Yeah, using craft to change a body is already hard enough. Creating a whole new one and identical to another, and one able to talk back? That's just impossible. Um, they spend a good chunk here trying to figure out how to do it. It's a lot of complicated theory. The writing seems to be getting more frantic too. It's barely legible in places. Of course. Realizing this can't be done. That's kind of oh. sad. Oh, read. this page. It only has a few words, but I figured it out. How to create another me. Body craft didn't work. Crafting clay didn't work. Nor wood or marble. Nothing worked. But one thing could. Wishcraft. Wishcraft will make my wish come true. I just have to do it. I just have to ask. Uh, wishcraft. The king mentioned wishcraft before, didn't he? He seemed to imply it was used to trap you in this time loop, didn't he? So it is real. It's real. It's real. You hide your smile by covering your mouth. See, friend? And then? And then? Oh, and then... Uh... Mirabelle turns the page. Oh, my wish came true. I will always be understood now. Huh. Happy for them, I suppose. So they did it? They created another them? With wishcraft? What's witch- what's wishcraft? Surely a type of craft they invented for this tale. As we've said, it's impossible to create a copy of yourself. Interesting- interesting premise, though. And making this fictional tale look like an old diary was interesting. Too bad wishcraft isn't real, though. I'd wish for stuff, too. But it is real. It has to be. It has to be! You have to tell Loop about this. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. Can we get a okay. hundred likes? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's fucking crazy. Can we get a hundred and fifty billion likes? <laughs> you have to build that. <laughs> you have to build that. What have you done? What have you done? God, such a good clip. <laughs> You wake up. You dreamt you were eating your friends whole. Ew. You want to throw up. What the fuck? You missed that. Hey gang, this isn't a 100% run. Get over yourselves. That's why we keep saying, buy the game. Enter Miravel. Okay, bye. There's a button below the video, but I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Stay silent. Oh. What? Safe! I didn't see there. Anyway, I was just looking at the favor tree. Isn't this tree cool? You joke. Glad you agree. Stop here. You will always make the joke. <laughs> yeah, some sort of routine to stay sane, and if making the joke is how, so be it. 
Uh huh. Tremendous tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. He lifts his hand. You watch his hand get closer to you again. Maybe this time. Closer. Closer. His hand abruptly stops above your shoulder and goes back to his side. <laughs> that was funny. Stay silent. Okay, my turn. Hmm. What's a good job? What for? Well, to make you laugh, duh. You always make me laugh with your puns, so it's my turn. But why? Uh, because we're friends. Oh. Do you not... Never mind. A funny joke. A funny joke. Isabeau looks around and seems to notice the clock tower in the distance. Ah, oh, I know. Do you know what I think about 6.30? The time? Yep. I don't know what. Well... I think 6.30 is hands down the best time of the day! <laughs> That's pretty good. You laugh. Yay! You'll need to remember to laugh next time. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'll be going now. Gut punch is the game. <laughs> Hi, Stark. Loop. Whoa. Yes? You heard it, didn't you? Heard what? You know, I don't actually spy on you all the time. I found it, Loop. Wishcraft. Wishcraft? The thing the king spoke of? I found it in a book, Loop. The writer said they wanted to create a whole new body and used wishcraft for it. Wishcraft made their wish come true. Create a whole new body? That's... Impossible, right? But they did it with wishcraft. It's real, Loop. It has to be. A craft that allows you to do the impossible, like crafting a body. Like looping in time. Like maybe freezing people in time as well. <sighs> That's right. If the king knows about wishcraft, could wishcraft how he be how he got the power to craft time? Did he use wishcraft to be able to use timecraft? It makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Huh. <laughs> Stars, that's something, isn't it? That's a new lead. Finally, right? Finally, indeed. Well, you know what to do, don't you, Stardust? Find more information. Indeed you do. Not to send you another book chase, but... Uh... Book time. Book time. You can read those weird books now, can't you? Maybe one of them might mention it. Hmm. All right, now that you're here, though... Hi, it's me! What do you want to talk about? My turn, actually! My turn! I have a question. So, 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 so... How's your touch exposure therapy going? Your what? In the gardening room. You've been practicing to touch your party in that annoyingly cramped room, right? How does Loop know about this? It's going well. I'm so happy for you. Touching people is so weird, right? At least you at least you have all the time in the world to get used to it, especially since they don't remember what you did uh what you did if you loop, right? Removes all the yucky yucky ew vulnerability of it all. <laughs> <laughs> Unimpressed. All right, bye. Oh, you're walking away. Okay. Buenos dias, Seafreen. Good, <laughs> goodbye. Good talk. Awesome. That's so cool that you did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh Not this scene again. I can't do it again. The scent of the banana peel makes you want to throw up. You're living a comedy sketch. <laughs> <laughs> you said first floor, right? <laughs> <laughs> he fell and broke his neck again. Hilarious. This poor bastard. Dev says yes. I didn't actually see where. I'm just walking a direction. Storage ah. room. Storage room. Oh, okay. The storage room room. Storage room. Oh. Ten minutes, by the way. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh my god. Because you're tired. Tired of repeating the same blinding lines over and over and over again. I just don't hmm. have much to say. And it's nice hmm. to hear you all talk. Oh, Jesus. The bookcase is filled with many books written in many different languages. Bogardian, Potarian, Mudu. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. It seems to be a theoretical essay on how to use wishcraft. Wishcraft, so it is real. You start flipping through it. Seifen, what are you looking at? It's a book on something called wishcraft. Wishcraft? What's that? Do we really have time for this right now? You grin. I think wishcraft is what gave the, ping the king power over timecraft. Oh, crap! This would be very, very, very useful to know, wouldn't it? Interesting. May I see? How are you even reading this? Letter's bad. I can't read it at all. I've never even heard of Wishcraft. Are you sure it's even real? Worth a try. Since you can read it, can you translate what you can, Seif? You nod furiously. You start reading and translate as best you can. I'll leave the thinking to you all. I am a child. <laughs> I have a lot on my mind. I cannot help. Fair. Understandable. <laughs> Isabeau and Odile listen intently while Mirabelle and Bonnie start playing some kind of game in a corner. You keep translating. After a bit, Odile nods. Hmm. I think I understand. Wishcraft, as the name implies, is the art of crafting wishes, of making whatever you desire come true. According to this, there seems to be no clear limit on what kind of wish you can make come true. A big part of it seems to come through just believing very strongly that you that your wish will come true, huh? So by crafting some specific rituals in conjunction with a powerful will for your wish to come true, people can seemingly make any kind of wish come true. Um, okay. You use the word congestion, so now I'm confused. Conjunction. It means... The same way we use craft in certain knowledge and will... And will to make figurines move. There's a way to use craft to make your wishes come true. You nod, you nod. Bonnie raises their hand. You have a question, Bonnie Foss? Um, so, um, can it make any wish come true if you ask? Yes, but the way the wish comes true seems a little more complicated than that, from what Seifrin translated. Yeah, depending on what you ask, your wish might not come true but you might get the means to make your wish come true. So like, let's say, let's say you wish to win a rock, paper, scissors tournament. Instead of just having it come true through pure luck, you might get something to help make it true. Like maybe you get better at reacting and you could see your opponent's hand in slow motion as it falls. So you can change your own hand. Or maybe you'd get the insight to tell what they'd be playing based on their body language. Or you just get the power to see f see the future, so you know what your hand opponent will be playing beforehand. Blech. Oh, or maybe you could meet a powerful rock paper scissors master who'd be willing to teach you through the goodness of their heart. Maybe. But what if your opponent also made a wish to win? What do you think would happen? Hmm. Maybe the wishes would cancel each other out, and the match would end in a draw. Or maybe their wishes would both be considered null, and it'd be anyone's game. Or maybe the wishes can't work because it's two opposite wishes, so they'd both explode and destroy the whole world! Oh no! <laughs> but <laughs> neither of the wishes would come true then. So maybe... maybe they'd both get to win somehow? Maybe they'd go to different tournaments. Or share a medal! Cute. Yee. Oh, time loop. This is fascinating. <laughs> hmm. Makes you want to go into wishology, huh? Ha! Almost. So, if wishcraft is how the king got his powers, what did he wish for then? I don't know, but maybe his power to freeze people in time might not be what he wished for. But it's the means to make his wish comes true. To make Vogard perfect. A perfect picture. Oh! I just realized that, like, the king's motivation is what I a good version of Inazuma Genshin Impact would have been, instead of the worst storytelling I've ever seen in my, <laughs> in my life. Oh! But the, I've, it's so funny that, like, just this will only take 30 seconds, it's so funny that they bungled the story so hard, they were just like, we're just gonna do it 
again in the next country, but like a little better. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, but then, um, question. I have a question. Yes, Mira. I give you permission to speak. Thank you. Um, Sifrin, <laughs> you think the king could have gotten timecraft powers by just wishing for them, right? You nod, considering he's the one who told you about wishcraft in the first place. So then, if wishes can be that powerful, wouldn't anyone making a wish at any time be kind of dangerous? We'd be living in a very different world, wouldn't we? If someone wished to be the strongest person alive, or a kid wished for a million ponies? We can do that? Wish for a million ponies? Oh, no! <laughs> to answer your question, my dear Mira, it seems that just wishing for things does hold a little bit bit of power, but, like, not enough to actually make anything come true. But like Seif said, over time, people figured out specific ways to do wishcraft to increase their chances of the wish coming true. And it depends on the wish, too. Some wishes are easier to make come true. It also depends on the strength of the wish. Like how much you want it to come true. Although, it seems the strength of the wish isn't as important as the whole ritual part. You can wish as hard as you want for something, but if there's no ritual, it's very likely that nothing will happen. Hmm. I wish I won this single game wouldn't ask for much belief, or for a lot of rituals. But in theory, you could prepare rituals and wish for something larger, like, I wish I could win this world tournament. Or, I wish to get enough power so I can freeze a whole country in time, right? Right. So the king knew how to do wishcraft, then. That's what this means? Wishcraft could hold account for his mastery over timecraft. And so, he must have known specific rituals to make his wish come true. Where could he have learned them? Does it matter? Because that's it, isn't it? That's it! Wishcraft is the art of making wishes come true. Wishes that could bestow immense power. A wish must be what is trapping you here. That's it, that's it, that's it! Oh, you can't help but smile widely. Finally a hint. Finally a real path you can follow. Something you can do. You try and calm your breathing. <sighs> okay. Specific rituals, huh? It's a long shot, but there might be another book about wishcraft somewhere. Something you couldn't read before. All right, that's the last scene we're going to do. E. Good shit, gamers. Good shit. Uh, Dev says, loop to floor two with doors open and save to get ready for next stream. Okay. Uh, oh, the, the tier is actually this way. I passed it. I wasn't paying attention. No! Where? Oh, smooth. What a smooth. Oh. With doors open? Doors open, I believe. Doors so. open. Okay. Yep. Floor two, doors open. Two da. You wake up. You dreamt you were falling, falling, falling. You feel unsteady. Okay, uh, we should be able to finish next time. Ooh. All right. But the, Fuck yes. The next, oh. uh, I'm gonna do my best to schedule this so that we can do it uh, sometime within the next week, we'll see. Um, the next, Thanks for being I, here, Dev. The next stream is yeah, gonna be you. a lot. <laughs> oh. All right, let's do it. I'm fucking hype and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna fucking move heaven enough to be here. <laughs> Might go a little long, too, because there's a lot of talking, obviously. Uh -huh. That is fine. I'm willing to stay up for this. There's a... We're in Act 4. There are six acts in this game. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh. All right. All right, bye. Bye. Bye, bye toodles.